farmers, ranchers, and fishermen. Join the club at freshfromflorida.com today. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Hey there, it's Russ Rollins. And all the homeowners out there who are tired of staring at their cold swimming pools, it's time to stop wasting money on a pool that you can't use. With Solar Source, you can enjoy your pool year round like I do. Top five things Solar Source customers do after solar heating their pools well, spend time with your family, go nighttime swimming, you got, uh, you got movie nights in the pool, you got water workouts, and much more. Friends of mine, friends of Russ Rollins, can save big money when scheduling a free consultation today at solarsource.com/slash monsters. Don't wait any longer, start enjoying your pool again with solar source if you're the victim of a car crash never rush to settle with the insurance companies and never settle for just any attorney demand anna jar levine call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life in office orlando if you ask anyone who's experienced lasik they will tell you it's the best thing they've ever done and more often than not they'll add i should have done it sooner so what are you waiting for the filatoski eye institute is offering free lasik consultations just text 1041 to 86868 and start your journey to better vision with the Filatoski Eye Institute. They've performed over 65,000 LASIK procedures using the latest state-of-the-art technology. If finances aren't concerned, they offer 24-month interest-free financing. Text 1041 to 866 to schedule your free LASIK consultation at the Filatoski Eye Institute. Baby boomers and retirees, stop losing your retirement. The IRS will take substantial dollars from your retirement savings unless you take control of your retirement dollars. You can gain retirement tax protection from national talk show Wealth strategist and best-selling author Chuck Oliver of the Hidden Wealth Solution. He'll give you a head start to be retirement tax and recession smart. Learn solutions with a track record of measuring cash bonus for many people. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. I need to reduce my tax burden, so I'm going to overpay for your old car. Get up to $4,297 more than it's actually worth. Trade in and get a new car today, like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. Most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. I'm R.C. Hill at R.C. Hill Mitsubishi, Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and Nocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. See R.C. For details. It's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. Whether it's a casual get together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic wood fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Mm, this is so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because clients and character matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Someone's going to get offended. It's just the way the world works. So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy, here's this. The opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of iHeartMedia, its management, or advertisers. The news junkie is on. The three best friends you never knew you had running through the most viral stories of the day. The news junkie Sean Wasson with Sabrina and c It is Friday, March 29th. 2024. Lots to get to today. From Diddy's secret cameras exposed to a human skin book causes controversy. Controversy. And the most awkward movie premiere ever. Plus your calls, dispatches, emails, texts, and more. Hey there, Sabrina. Hello. Hello, Sealy. What's happening? And hello to you. You can join us on the show today. All you have to do is send us a dispatch. Go to the newsjunkie.com and record on your first dispatch today. You can also watch the show on YouTube and twitch.tv slash the news junkie. Your message is rolling right into the studio in real time. And this never, ever, ever happens, folks. What had happened? 
We got a last minute message. Right. We do. Yeah, I just looked at this. I double checked, triple checked. We got a last minute message from that horny ass groundhog yesterday. Let's see what he says. Have a great Friday, you mother. We did it, everybody. Yeah. yeah. All right. We made our way through a Monday, Tuesday, Ooh. Wednesday, Thursday. Friday has arrived. I'm taking credit for Monday. We went to work. We yeah, went we to work. Actually, we did. Mm-hmm. It's we were been in a week for sure. We were in the business. We were working. We were doing things work related. So we're taking credit for it. And you, friend, you made it all the way to that Friday you've been pining for. And congratulations to you for doing it. And congratulations to everybody today. You know what? If you haven't been told congratulations in a long time, it hurts. It hurts your feelings. Sometimes. I know it does. Very unaccomplished, but you did do it. So congratulations it. to everybody. I know. And they made it all week with us. It's a trying week for sure, right? People were on edge. There was a lot of weird stuff going on. Um, so we're happy to have you. I'm not thrilled about something else at the moment. Okay. Um, uh, I put on these blue jeans that I guess Courtney put them through the dryer yesterday. Oh, tight. And they, they might pop right off my body today. <laughs> they might just... I, too, am having one of those moments. That's when you get an oversized shirt to cover the part that is about to bust and take out someone's eye. I've never done the loosen up the, the belt buckle kind of thing, but I may have to today. I don't know what's going on here. going to go full fupa. I, it's not because I've, like, put on weight or anything, because I've, I've only put on that, like, nine pounds from stopping smoking, and I'm trying to whittle that back down to where I was at 189. I'm a 199 right now. Right. It's not that. It's just like today is tight in the pants, man. It's real. I got to breathe carefully today or all hell is going to break loose. All right. Let's put our ears to the ground, our fingers on the pulse. Let's see what's happening in this great big wide world of ours. And we go to the world of sports, friends. Yeah, that's Freaking right. Freaking sports, baby. We know it. We love it. We are sports fiends around here. Jason says, you're getting fat, Watson. What, what are you talking about, man? I'm I'm in a good range right now. I'm at 199. I'm not down where I was, but I'm going to get back down there. And but you saying that uh, makes me not want to quit smoking. I'm like, well, nah, oh, I'd, yeah. I'd rather look good and have a voice like this. You 100% will start, like, because you're looking for something to occupy your time. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I can't that, be toothpick girl. Well, but it, half of half of smoking is not just like whatever you're getting out of the cigarette itself, and you know uh, all the addictive p- parts of that. It's also just about like what you do with your time. Yeah. So when you stop, then you're like, "What am I going to do with that time?" And stopping the smoking, then stopping the drinking during the week. I'm like, "What do I do with all this time?" And like, I work a lot, so I don't want to do so much more of that. That's what I've, I've been trying to fill the hole with. It's a thing, man. Uh, all right. Have you found yourself? I mean, it's been no. uh, a handful of months since you quit smoking, but it, it, at the beginning, did you find yourself like walking outside and then going, "Wait a second, I don't have to be outside here." No, I there was. I don't smoke it was anymore. Just, it was a million hurdles, Sea Line. It was like, uh, okay, I cannot smoke on whatever other day. That's fine. But then secret shows comes around. I'm like, oh god, it's all <laughs> over again. And, and then I get past that, and it's like. The wedding at Fritz's house was whoa, man! I was like, "Give me all of them! I will smoke." Oh, them you mean now. a prolonged outdoor party? Yeah, and then people are smoking around me. And I'm going, oh, but you gotta like. Duck and the all Fritz those wedding things. too. Like, there was a lot of vaping at that wedding. There was like mm-hmm. they, half the people were vaping at the ceremony. Yeah, vape city. Oh, all day. God, I'm I pretty sure to. I blew smoke into your face by accident. <laughs> <laughs> it's you got to test me. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, how do I know if I've quit? Otherwise, if I just run back to it, then I didn't get anywhere. All right, here we go. Let's put uh, our ears to the ground, fingers on the pulse, and let's go to the world of baseball as promised. Here goes nothing. A batter is real upset. It's the San Francisco team. I'll just call them that. And uh, it's the uh, San Diego team. San Diego Padres. San Francisco Giants, baby. Oh, mm, 75% sure that's right. Sports. But one of the players, uh, Manny Maca- Macado, uh, he was really angry at his performance at the plate. Here he goes. Chili Davis. Sounds Any like a guesses? Dance move. <laughs> what's what's the Chili Davis? Uh, you, you say a dance move? I mean, it does. It sounds like a dance move. I, I can't imagine that that's what they're referring to. Chili Davis mm-hmm. being... A former baseball player? Uh, yes, that's okay. right. That's correct. And Chili Davis, of course, known to break the bat over his knee. 
That is correct. Oh, yes. is it really? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he tried. Hey. I he thought you that or throw it at somebody. He tried to break the bat over his knee, and he failed, which has got to be. Hurts. Uh, yeah, that hurts, and it's a letdown. Have you ever, like, punched a wall in anger or something or, like, having that moment, and then nothing happens to the wall, but you are in so much pain that it's like, <laughs> this really hurts now, and I feel stupid. Yep, been there. And he tried to Chili Davis himself. That sounds so dirty, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, I gave my wife the old Chili Davis last night. <laughs> it sounds filthy. I broke her over my knee. <laughs> so he tries the Chili Davis. No success in the Chili Davis territory, but they, I think they replay the video just to make fun of him. Oh, do I try it again? Do yeah. I try to Chili Davis again? Or ooh, yeah. not great. Those bats are very much built for a particular reason, and it's not to oh, break yeah. easily. Do you think you could break one over your knee? Hell no. I don't Hell think I no. could either. I would yeah. hurt myself. I, I don't, don't even think that. if I like hit it against something, I could break it. Actually, I'm not even going to say I don't know that I could. I'm going to say I don't think I could do it. I don't think I could break a, a baseball bat over my knee. Solid wood? I think like so. That, you can't have that cork anymore. That's illegal right. in baseball world. So, yeah. yeah. I don't. No, 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 no. No, that's, that's tough. I don't think I'd be able to do that. Um, somebody saying those bats are hard to break. Well, I'm sure they are. I, and Rachel Not for says, Chili Davis. No, he just breaks right through him. Rachel on YouTube says he's got a shiner on that thigh. I bet it's that that part right above the knee, right there. I bet he hits it. He's like, okay, at least got to look cool just walking normally to the dugout. That's gonna and be a bruise. Get, yeah, you get in the dugout, you're like, oh god, and it starts to bruise up. That is not a good time right there. So Manny Mikado, uh, better luck next time with the Chili McGee or whatever it's called. Um, meanwhile, <laughs> forget so quickly. Chili, uh, Chili, Jackson? Chili, Chili, Chili Davis. Davis. Chili Davis. Chili Davis. Uh, I don't know who Chili Davis is. Are you kidding me? You know, my all my knowledge of baseball players' names is stuck in the 1990s. Like, I know Bono's baseball level of baseball. Ken Griffey That's, Jr. Ken, yeah, Ken Griffey uh, Jr., I know. Um, Derek I know Jeter. Derek Jeter, I know that name. I know uh, Jim Abbott, who is the one-handed baseball player who came and talked at our uh, middle school, Crestwood Middle School. And uh, gave like an everybody. inspirational speech. <laughs> he did like a whole thing up there. I remember just a very few. Uh, Mookie Brown, I think, was a guy, or yeah. uh, made that up. I, did, I didn't make that There's up. There's Mookie right? Blaylock too, right? There's, There's a couple, couple Mookies. Mookies. Yeah, that sounds bad too. Mookie <laughs> sounds a little racist. <laughs> it does. As well. I, I hate those words that like, when you get off my playground, like, Mookie. <laughs> you're like, we we're hanging out outside. A couple Mookies walked by. That sounds terrible. <laughs> like that sounds indefensible. Uh, we're waiting for you on a Friday, and as you can tell, we're going to have a little bit of fun today. We hope that you are going to do so with us. More stories today about more women who say they were sucker punched in New York City by random people. So it's random now. It's not determined it's the same guy they just arrested? It's at least one more guy, okay, at the very, very, very least. But my money tells me it's more than one guy. I don't think it's, like, orchestrated so much. I, I, it is kind of weird, though, that it's all like happening and people are, are coming out about it right now. They say shocking video captured the moment a Brooklyn school bus aide was sucker punched by a serial attacker with multiple busts. This guy knocked her damn teeth out of her oh, face. God. In this one guy, punch? Yes, he hit her right. That's a Chili right Davis in, right there. Right in the Chili Davis. He hit her real hard. And this poor woman... Got a broken jaw, which you know what that means, right? Oof, that's tough. It means you're gonna, you're gonna have a great summer bod because no. your oh, yeah, jaw is yeah. wired shut. Yep, yeah, the jaw wired shut. I've never had that before. I can't even begin to imagine. Man, could we imagine Sean with his jaw wired <laughs> shut? You'd go insane. You would go <laughs> insane. Oh God, I'd be losing it. Corner. <laughs> <laughs> Quarter, <laughs> bring me, bring me my water. <laughs> I'd have to go live or something, and then I'm doing like a. Okay, everybody, yeah. welcome to the show. You guys can move uh, your lips when your teeth are stuck together, though, right? That I don't know. You to... No, you're you're locked in a cage around your teeth, so your teeth have to be oh clenched together. I love to uh. see you even in braces is something I would spend money. on. I had braces. I could pull up some pictures of that. I got them somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where, but I got them out there somewhere. We'll learn more about what happened to this woman and her broken ass teeth, and uh, other people that have been hit by these folks, and another person. 
that is um, at least been identified by police. What's this guy up to, the dude who, well, besides punching ladies in the face in New York City? Uh, who is this guy? That's what we're going to get into. That plus you is on the way. Your dispatch is at thenewsjunkie.com. Quick notes. The website update has launched. You'll now see a nice featured area on the homepage at thenewsjunkie.com where interviews or shows or the live streams after they're done can all be featured. Each day, if you miss the show on the stream or if you miss some interview that we did, it'll all be up there in the featured section at thenewsjunkie.com. It came out fantastic. The developer team is on point. The new developer team really uh. drilling it there. We'll see what the invoice says, but the rest of it was good. And Do you we'll secretly hear... hope that the old developer team is listening and uh, hearing you? No, 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 hearing no. you happy with your new developer team? No, because the old guys who, who said eventually I was crumbling, and he was like, "Here, here's here's somebody who'll help you out." And I oh, go, thank you. Okay. Well, that's nice. So thank you, thank you, sir. I appreciate you. All right, to your dispatches and the updates on the sucker punch attacks in New York. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. <laughs> This is Real Radio 104.1 on your phone with the iHeartRadio app and on hundreds of devices like Alexa, Google Home, Xbox, and Sonos. We are an iHeartRadio station. The left lane is blocked, causing bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic northbound on Florida's Turnpike approaching I-75. There's stop-and-go traffic on Florida's Turnpike northbound between Colonial Drive and Hancock Road. And authorities are working on an accident on the Greenway northbound at County Road 46A. Traffic is backed up from Airport Road. If you see traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Blue Stream Fiber. HOA and condo board members, it pays to have fiber. Let Blue Stream Fiber show you how fiber internet provides revenue for communities while saving up to 50% off retail rates. Visit bluestreamfiber.com slash radio to find out more. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Tesla Apprentilast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. People think Florida is salty because most of our state is surrounded by salt water, but it's the other states that are salty. Why? Because we get to enjoy McDonald's breakfast bagels year-round. You see, most parts of the country aren't as lucky as us and can't wake up to a steak, egg, and cheese bagel with a tender, juicy steak patty and savory grilled onions, or a sausage egg and cheese bagel with a sizzling hot pork sausage patty, or a bacon egg and cheese bagel with thick cut applewood smoked bacon. Enjoy savory breakfast bagels only at McDonald's. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. At participating McDonald's. When you're eating McDonald's spicy chicken McNuggets, take a moment to appreciate that they're back. And while you may be eager to reach for another McNugget, take a moment to let the spice settle. Because the lightly breaded tempura and blend of aged cayenne aren't just spicy, they're worth it. You can order ahead on the McDonald's app. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. But participate in McDonald's for a limited time. D app download and registration required. Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. I'm still going for it, even with higher stroke risk from atrial fibrillation and a regular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. Over a three-year study, Eliquis Apixaban tablets reduced stroke risk better than warfarin, and over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. A first stroke occurred in 2.9% of warfarin patients versus 2.3% of Eliquis patients. Don't stop taking prescription Eliquis without asking your doctor. It may increase your stroke risk. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart 
heart valve, abnormal bleeding, or antiphospholipid syndrome. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. A spinal injection while on Eliquis increases risk of blood clots, which may cause paralysis, the inability to move. Get medical help right away for unexpected bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling, numbness, or muscle weakness. Medications such as aspirin products, NSAIDs, SSRIs, SNRIs, and blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. Learn more at Eliquis.com or call 1-855-ELIQUIS. Watching the magic game from home means squeezing four friends onto a two-person couch and dealing with that one guy always blocking the TV. But if you win free tickets to the game with Total by Verizon, you'll kick back with a fresh serving of nachos and witness all the action up close. Seems like an easy call. Head to the nearest Total by Verizon store for a chance to win. No purchase necessary ends April 1st, 2024. Legal residents of Florida who reside within 150 miles of Orlando, Florida, but not within 75 miles of Miami, Florida. Only 18 plus. See rules for more info available at tvvstoreticketsweeps.com. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. $5,000. $5,000. That's the average amount of money people in the U.S. are now spending on gas in a year. Five grand. That's crazy. If you drive, you have to download Upside, the free app that gives you cash back every time you get gas. That's right. You can earn real cash back with Upside just by buying the gas you're already buying. You can literally start earning cash back today. I use Upside every time I fill up, and I've already made around two, $300. You're putting gas in your car anyway. Why not get real cash back? If you like free money, download Upside. I'm saving the cash I earn from using Upside to help pay for a vacation later this year. Download the free Upside app now to earn cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code COOL to get an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first tank. You can cash out any time right to your bank, PayPal, or a gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Lost 80s, playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Duran Duran, Huey Lewis, Tina Turner, and more, all commercial-free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. If you've been injured in a car accident, call Pound Law from your cell phone. Morgan & Morgan. They're best friends. Unless they're fighting. Are they fighting? It's the... No, it's not kids, Bob. No, no, no. Like, it's awesome. It's, uh, I was like, okay, Sean, let's go. And then I heard children. I'm like, it's, uh, they did a... It's from uh, The Gentleman, the TV uh, show The Gentleman. Uh, yeah. yeah, I haven't yeah. watched that yet. I, I did oh. start um, Palm Springs last night. Or Palm, Palm Royale. Palm Royale. Palm Royale, yes. fun. I like that one. Yeah, I, I'm such a sucker in the simplest of ways 
for like murder mystery stuff, okay. you know, like who done it? Well, like, you got to try to figure it out as you're going through. I love that stuff. And it's also kind of one thing I'm super impressed with jobs wise that gets very little credit in the world is the folks who work on productions. And let's say like in this case, it's supposed to be Palm Beach in what, like the 60s or something. I don't know what time 1969. Period it's okay, so it's 1969 in Palm Beach, Florida. And there's somebody whose job it is to make sure everything you see on camera would have been in 1969 in Palm Beach, Florida. Clothes, cars, like everything. And just to think about how insane that is, that's a tough job, man. It's a tough one for them to do. I appreciate but, it, though. Um, it's beautiful. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I love that. I love when they do that. Um, I, I was having a nightmare during the break just thinking about this woman in New York. Everybody's getting punched in the face in New York City. There's folks out there just slugging ladies, and uh, it's mostly women. She, uh, ooh, almost, almost oh, just there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all women that I've seen so far who have said somebody's punched them. That's not to say there are no men that are punched, but I, I don't know. It looks like it's women that are just getting punched in New York City walking down the street. And uh, this latest woman got hit so hard, her teeth like chiclets just flung out of her mouth. Uh. God. And the poor woman had to be put in like, you know, uh, like a broken jaw. She had to be wired shut. And it seems like such a nightmare to deal with that for God knows how long. And you can't enjoy one of the key things in life, food. You can't really enjoy food when your jaw's wired shut. You, you're just miserable because everything is uh, uncomfortable. Uh, around the clock, probably difficult to sleep and everything sucks. Plus, he got punched by some weirdo in New York City, and she was on the news talking about this, and we talked about it the other day, so let's go further into this. What the hell is happening? Why is everybody getting punched in New York City? Look, he broke all my, my um, all this here. Oh, Dulce God. Pichardo can hardly speak. Her jaw is wired shut. This is the result of a single punch. Take a look. Surveillance video shows the attacker. God, why does surveillance video suck so bad? Is there any reason in 2024 why we got this potato footage of I, some person? It blows my mind because there is obviously money going daily into the city budget with yeah. parking tickets and violations and probably some sort of fundraising. But we still have the same crappy footage for the last three decades. Look how bad that is. It's You see a, a person uh, looks by the gate of the individual to possibly be a man, that would be my guess. Uh, plus, I think she said it was a man who punched her, so her eyewitness account would say that. And that's about all you could get from this. This is somebody wearing, like, a jacket, a light-colored jacket and pants, and you can't tell if they're black, white, green, or something in between. It's just a blurry-ass thing. There's another man walking by, but zeroes in on Pachardo. He punches her in the face. Oh, okay, it was actually a guy going the other way who hit her. It was a guy who was... It wasn't the first person that they showed. It was somebody going the other way and just, boom, hits her in the face. face. The blow makes Pachardo unstable on her feet. You can see her stumbling backwards. She says it. Hey. And he stood there. He didn't even run away. Big ups to her. This guy just blindsided her and sucker punched her right in the mouth. She didn't fall over. (laughs) This lady is still on her feet on the sidewalk and he, yeah, you're right, Sabrina. He's staring at her from across the sidewalk. And now let's see what happens. It's unprovoked. Her attacker never said a word. He just punched me. The right side here. Very strong. It happened oh. Tuesday evening that here sucks, at Grand man. Avenue in Dean Street in Crown Heights. Pachardo was walking home after her shift That's her. as a bus aide. She tells us after being hit, she asked her attacker. I'm oh, surprised. I tell, I, I, I say, What's going on? Why you hear me? What I do it? I, I don't do anything. No reason to hear me. Petrado's brother, oh. who owns a restaurant across the street, was able to chase Franz Judy down. Oh, did they chase him down and give him the one-two and the what for? No, he mm. just looks stoned. You think he just looks like this? It's, it's, not, a, it's not a full Marquise Lloyd, if that's what you're getting at. It's got like something on his forehead, and he just it looks like a crazy person. All right, that's all I'm, the vibe I'm getting here, or, or like somebody who's really stoned. And that's the guy that they got. This dude uh, was the one who punched this woman unprovoked. He is not related to the other dude who punched at least one of those ladies that we talked about yesterday. 
So I don't know what's going on out there, but it looks like there's some people just punching randos. Until police arrived, what he's accused of doing changed this 57-year-old's life forever. Three of her teeth were knocked out. Look at that. She has nerve damage, loss of feeling in her lips. What a punch, And now she man. has to yeah. drink her food from a straw. But beyond her injuries, Petrado says what affects her the most is her fear. She hopes the city will do more to make sure people are safe. Yes, dart guys like this. You see, this is a weirdo who just randomly punched a woman who dared walk by him. She didn't even get that close to him. And he goes, all right, now I'm going to just rage on this person and sucker punch them in the face. Dart these people. Dart them and net them and bring them somewhere. That's what we need to do. So often we're like, oh, we just hug them hard enough. We'll bring them around and they won't do that. No, this is a demented individual. This woman didn't say anything. There was no reason for him whatsoever to react in any violent way towards a fellow human being on the sidewalk. But he did. And so did the other dude. And so did maybe even other guys. So New York, what's up? Get out there, please. Maybe just uh, get a couple of these people off the streets for a little while. Huh? Maybe we can figure that out so we don't have a no, woman no. We just, drinking uh, through a straw. Process them, then take the cuffs off and go, all right, be good now. you be See better. You later. Yeah. Meanwhile, this poor woman is eating through a straw for God knows how long. Once you get in one of those wires on your jaw, I think you're in there for a little while. I think uh, you, you're going to be uh, dealing with that for quite some time. Like so. Kanye. Yeah, or through the wire and all that. But uh, this is what's happening in New York City this week. Does it make you hesitant when you see stories like that to visit a place? And walked into their apartment and was totally fine. I know it affects some people because, like, even C-Lane would say, like, if you tell your mom you're good. Oh. oh. Get punched in the face. You know? uh, yeah. No, we don't. Can you say that one more time? Uh, if you if you tell your mom that you're going to New York City, your mom might be like, whoa, be careful. There's dangers out there. There's some problems that we're facing here. It would likely be my mother-in-law. Oh, really? Yeah. The like, last couple of times we went to New York, don't ride the subway. You better not ride the subway. Mm-hmm. People it's get pushed dangerous. on the tracks. Yeah, that's what happens every single time. God. Yeah, and uh, it's, it's we're scary. We're just supposed when... to stay inside now. I'm just getting yeah. the vibe here. No bridges, uh, no planes. No subways, no walking through the street randomly looking uh, the, at your phone. The bridges thing really gets me because, honest to God, I didn't know that there was a fear to be unlocked there this week. I didn't know. I mean, that- I mean a lot of people are scared of bridges. My, my wife doesn't love bridges. Uh, but like, if, we, if we're going on a drive and we have to go through some of the bigger ones, like, I don't remember her really having a problem on the seven mile when we went down to Key West. But mm-hmm. some of the ones in Jacksonville, she's like, mm, I don't love this. I don't blame her. It's not It's not great, right? Uh, Things Pat doesn't you. like bridges, and he has to. I mean, no. the, the guy lives on an island. He hates bridges. He hates driving, too. I know that for sure. Um, all right, let's see what we got here. We got a couple of dispatches rolling in from the newsjunkie.com. It's how you can join us as well. I was asking about the quality that we always see from these stories where there's security footage, and it's so bad. I'm a PC, chimes in. Let's see what they're saying. Hey, just want to let you know the reason we have such potato quality for surveillance cameras when they're on the news is because from the original source, it was downloaded. Mm -hmm. And then it was uploaded, sent to somewhere else, downloaded again, and then uploaded and downloaded. And each time that upload and download happens, it causes the quality to go down and down. You think so? And a guy actually made a video where he keeps on saying the same thing. Downloads it, re-uploads it, adds it, and eventually at some point it just sounds like screeches. All right, I know what you're saying. If you take one copy of a video and then over and over and over and over and over again, you, you just pass it along, it lowers in quality. Of course it does. It does. But I'm talking about I've seen where you could go into a 7-Eleven and they'll have, like, the broadcast cameras focused on the person's security machine and you see the quality footage hell i've walked into the 7-eleven myself and you look up on the screens in the 7-eleven and yep. you're on the footage and you're Hello. like that's it that and doesn't look good but you know what has like perfect uh camera quality is all the red light cameras because yeah they have no problem sending you a ticket <laughs> they for that out. they don't it's funny they don't There's invest no any money you can see every in the raindrop. public camera the public cameras that don't generate money for them, they have no interest in upgrading yeah. those. But do you and... want to solve a crime? Sorry. But do you want to get a ticket for a red light? <laughs> well, Hello. You just have to hope that if you get punched in the face randomly, it happens next to a red light. 
Hey, and also, Courtney pointed out, you remember, Rick Moranis got randomly punched in the face in New York City oh, as yeah. well. And that guy, too. Like, it's just punchers on the loose in Manhattan. Let's rope these uh, sons of bitches and get them off the streets, please, so we don't have Rick Moranis or any of these lovely ladies getting hit. That would be a nice thing. Here's, um, uh, let's see, Horseface Killer has a comment for us. I love dart them and net them. Mm -hmm. That's the best thing I've ever heard. Uh, however, it's a strategy. Honestly, if you're an unsavory sort of person walking around and you're acting like real erratic behavior, I ain't got time for you. I ain't got time for yep. politeness for you. Okay? You're going to be shut down. And I'm going to get away from you quickly. Yeah. That is all. And this could be a, um, uh, it could be a situation like in Home Alone 1 or 2, where you look at somebody and you go, the old man with the shovel, he looks a little bit scary. Or the old lady with the pigeons, I'm a little bit frightened of this lady. And you judge them wrong and they're actually normal people. But better safe than sorry. When you have like somebody who just looks like they're kind of out of it. When, when I'm on the same side of the road as somebody who's, like, um, screaming at the top of their lungs or yelling at people who aren't there, we used to have a couple people downtown. You guys know who I'm oh, talking yeah. about. Yeah. Like, Indian girl. And mostly they're no harm, right? Like, you can walk right past them. But cross the street just makes it easier. It is, you, who knows what's going to happen with some of these folks? It's dangerous out there. It is. Uh, let us know what you think. Go to thenewsjunkie.com and hit record on your first dispatch right now. Quick break. When we come back, oh, boy, is it getting expensive. What is it, and is it worth it? Those are huge questions that you absolutely need to know. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is Real Music Weekends. Weekend on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Hey, Central Florida, I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast. And for today, we're looking at a fabulous Friday. Temperatures will be on the warm but comfortable side, climbing into the mid to upper 70s across Central Florida with a high of 78 degrees in Orlando. Plenty of sunshine on the way for today, too. Make sure you grab your sunglasses for any sort of outdoor plans, and that will be the case through this weekend as well. Plan for highs in the low 80s for Saturday, mid 80s for Sunday. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. Folks, there is a great company that I am very proud to tell you about, and that company is Mills Air. Mills Air is not some fly-by-night organization. Leon Mills started Mills Air back in 1992. All right, this is over 30 years they've been helping people just like you out every single day. People who are in dire straits, meaning they're freaking out because their AC is broken and the weather's getting hotter and hotter and hotter. If you don't want that bad surprise, preventative maintenance is a genius thing for you to sign up to. Um, sign up for, I guess I should say. With preventative maintenance, you're going to save money and detect an upcoming breakdown by having the great, great techs from Mills Air come out and take a look at your AC. They'll look from top to bottom and tell you how things are. And also, they'll change all your filters out and they'll clean out your lines, do all the stuff that you probably aren't doing. 407-277-1159. That's the number, 407 277 one one five nine. They're a carrier factory authorized dealer getting you rebates up to twelve hundred and seventy five dollars for a brand new carrier unit. You can always turn to the experts at carrier and you can always turn to Mills Air. Find them online.
Ashford Original will give your food that authentic, wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Mm, wow, this is so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. I'm still going for it, even with higher stroke risk from atrial fibrillation and a regular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. Over a three-year study, Eliquis Apixaban tablets reduced stroke risk better than warfarin. And over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. A first stroke occurred in 2.9% of warfarin patients versus 2.3% of Eliquis patients. Don't stop taking prescription Eliquis without asking your doctor. It may increase your stroke risk. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve, abnormal bleeding, or antiphospholipid syndrome. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. A spinal injection while on Eliquis increases risk of blood clots, which may cause paralysis, the inability to move. Get medical help right away for unexpected bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling, numbness, or muscle weakness. Medications such as aspirin products, NSAIDs, SSRIs, SNRIs, and blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. Learn more at Eliquis.com or call 1-855-ELIQUIS. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Do you find yourself stuck in a timeshare? Get the real facts about the timeshare industry and your options for cancellation. Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, has put together a free information guide that reveals the secrets the timeshare industry doesn't want you to know, including the five ways to get rid of your timeshare. Call now and get this timeshare information guide absolutely free. Call 800-919-3200. That's 800-919-3200. 800-919-3200. Meal planning is work, so let Fresh from Florida help. Learn what's in season, browse hundreds of recipes, and get tips from Chef Justin by visiting FreshFromFlorida.com. Eat healthier with Fresh from Florida. There's sunshine in every bite. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine accident attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. They're best friends. Unless they're fighting. Are they fighting? It's I swear it'll pay off in a way that you would have never believed in just a moment. But uh, first, yesterday it was groundhogs. Today's it's books. <laughs> <laughs> just bear with me. I'm telling you, this one, this one's interesting. We're going to go down a rabbit hole together in just a moment or two. Whee. But I want to talk about this real quick because this kind of blows my mind. Not kind of full out, just blows my mind. And um, there's a story about some schools, colleges, universities in particular, and what the prices are going up to. And I have some thoughts on that in a moment. But do you uh, offhand have any idea how much your college costs, Sabrina? Like, do you know, like, oh, here's you know, four years. It was like, so you had two years at, at UCF, right? Uh, yeah, and that was the, the last two years. I and then two, two, two years and before. I'm being completely honest. And then uh -huh. my... Uh, Associates, my first and second year was over at Florida Gulf Coast University. Okay. Do you have any idea what that ended up costing or no? I honestly, no idea. I know that I had Florida prepaid 
Okay, they which the, is good. The fund yeah. it definitely helped, especially because I went to a Florida school. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I think I got like a maybe a grant. So I, I really could not tell you. I feel like I would aim too high or I would go too low because right now it's all over the place. Is Florida I, prepaid the one that your your parents like uh, set aside the money? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And then Florida yeah. would match it. I mean, at least when I was going to college. Or the, for or, those of you uh, for those of you in other states, I, you probably have some equivalent of this. It's just a thing when you're you, uh, like when your a kid's young, the parents can put I think tax-free money into an account and like well i think you can also lock in prices can't yes. you yeah. yeah so like we've already started that with jackson oh really okay yeah. uh, ashley signed him up for florida prepaid and she said really really got high hopes for this kid huh well, what do you think he's a dud <laughs> no i'm not just uh, saying. sometimes i do i don't know man sometimes uh yeah. no uh, uh, she's the, the thing that like i thought was weird was uh they, uh, when she signed up for it, it was like, well, you could pay it all up front, mm-hmm. which is like, if you could do that, why why would you even need to? But I guess right. it, to lock in the pricing, maybe. Do that's you know how much that was to lock in the price up front? Uh, no, I, she might. Let me see if I can text her. But Is this is this four years that we're talking about, C-Lane? Uh, yeah. Plus, okay. the, the, and there was another uh, uh, charge for like the first year of dorms. Mm-hmm. But, they, you know, they lock in the price and they're like, all right, you can pay it all now. Or you can do it in installments over five years or 18 years. There's no Ooh. middle ground there. <laughs> so 18 years. We pick years. the 18. Yeah, that's what a lot of people do because it's – and it's smart to lock in that price because it just gets crazier and crazier and crazier. Eric F. on YouTube says, my college was like $80,000 for four years, not including books – uh, for about a grand a year. So, and, you know, I've heard people paying even more. Uh, Insecure Walrus says, how did Dylan use his? To buy a laptop. That's what he did with his 529. He took the tax hit and got himself a laptop. Oh, and I think some of that may have gone to his uh, his car that he ended up getting, which is a lifesaver for him. But he tried uh, and college. And the college and him just didn't agree. They just did not agree very well. Um, but I'm seeing the story like this one from CNN, and it says several New England universities and colleges have reached a pinnacle of at least ninety thousand dollars a year for undergraduate tuition and costs starting this fall. Ninety grand for a year. Oh, that's nuts, dude. Ninety. Th- think about that. Ninety thousand on. dollars for one year. Of college, Yale University, Tufts University, Boston University, and Wellesley College are among a few private institutions that will top this year's cost for tuition, housing, and other expenses. As if we haven't learned website. from the last couple decades where people are just drowning in student debt. And mm-hmm. they're like, well, if they uh, are going to get forgived in 40 years, let's go ahead and up the tuition. I think that that's probably in the equation for some people. I think they go... Yeah, you know what? Maybe I run up some debt, but maybe they wipe it out like they're doing for a bunch of these folks. Biden's been wiping out on his own a bunch of different categories of, of student debt. And it's a weird precedent to set because then you see things like this. Now, you might make the argument to me, and I think it would be a fair argument. You say, Sean, people who go to Yale, Tufts, BU, or Wellesley College, they're rich people for the most part anyways. They're not people who even finance this stuff, as a lot of them just pay it off and it's nothing for them, fine. But I'm talking about the folks who aren't in that category. It's nearly six figures for a year of going to college. Is it worth it? That's a lot of money. That means if you were financing your time at Yale, you would be looking at about $400,000 in principle for a four-year degree from Yale. Now, are you more hireable? and valuable to the companies that are out there hiring people? Yes, you are. But you're starting $400,000 behind the line if the Biden doesn't gobble up your student loan debt. Ashley That's said the lump sum for prepaid would have been 30 something k For the whole, for four years? I think so. That, that's still kind of crazy, though. That's still yeah. a lot. I mean, $30,000 for, for four years of college means... You're you're starting behind the eight ball if you're poor, and there's a lot of kids that are poor out there. This sucks, man. That is difficult. Uh, but they said Wellesley's comprehensive undergraduate fee is uh, an increase of four point seven percent from the current year. So they decided why not go up from eighty eight thousand 
to over 90,000. What am I hearing? I'm oh. hearing. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I thought my, my, I can't even turn it off. She okay. is watching something. <laughs> okay. I am waiting for her stupid bore you? I No, bore you, you didn't leave. bore me. I was just oh, trying I'm, to pull I'm some. I'm out of here. I apologize. I was trying to pull some audio. It's like, oh, mm. college smallage. <laughs> just get on with it already. <laughs> yeah, get already to the book that. story. I, um, I am. All I'm saying is that I am fortunate enough to have graduated college, but because of stupid fees, I have yeah. yet to have the actual piece of paper that says I graduated. Do you know what amount of money you owe for this? No. Do you have any clue? Based Why don't on you look that up? I don't even look it up. I don't remember my... I don't know. Call the school. If you call the school, they'll tell you what you... I mean, I can't imagine that it's that much money. It's keeping you away from something you work for four years but to get. Everybody wants to put the, it on the wall. They gave me the leather-bound folder for it. So I there's just, no, but there's no thing in it that says, "Hey, you, you know, graduated college." Uh, no, it. What I, if I fold it a certain way? How dare someone go into my house and like open it up? It just looks as if something inside is there. No, Sabrina, and then, th- and then not, I'll give you this no. much. One of my classes was a Photoshop class because of my digital media minor, and so I could just Photoshop my degree. This is not for anybody else. It's for you. Right. You worked for four years to of do course, something. Four and a half, a little bit. Four and a half years to do something. Courtney worked, Jared College was a little longer. She went for about it nine happens. years or so. It, was, it, it would be she, crazy she, if I went we for had six. some sort of UCF administrator that listens to the show. Uh-huh. Maybe I could just look my name up and see how much I actually owe. Are we talking like a hundred bucks? Because no, you're I think crazy. More, I think you more think? than that. Yeah. Thousands? No. I mean, unless they charge interest, then yeah. Oh, it's almost you 10 years that I graduated out. college, which makes me want to throw up on this board. And you worked to get the thing, to get I the did. thing. That's the finish line. I understand that. But when I graduated, I was very poor. Do you understand? Oh, I understand that. But now you can at least pay off a couple hundred dollars to get the thing. I mean, and then when people I got go, a job. I love my job. I have a career going. I have a great resume. Man, ain't that really a bitch. I need this damn thing. Ain't that a bitch. Once you get like a job and you get your career going. Then you don't need the thing anymore. Didn't even ask for it. <laughs> it's like the thing that you worked all the oh god. So that is a huge question. Like, is it worth it? Ninety thousand or some of these schools ninety six thousand dollars for Wellesley a year? You imagine paying that for your kid and your kid's like screwing off and not paying attention to class. Like, ah, you know, guess what, mom? I'll pay attention next week. It's fine. I'm a I'm a freshman. I'm just partying. Oh god. I would lose my mind. Lose my mind. Let us know what you think. Is it worth it anymore? Go to thenewsjunkie.com. My line on this is always the same, and it is you need to figure out your life before you make what is a huge decision in it. After you're done with high school, if you know, sometimes you know, if you know what you want to do right at that point, hop into it. If you go, what I want to do requires me to have a college degree, get it. Go fight for it. Go get it because you're going to be better off in the long run. If the thing that you want to do that you think will bring you the most happiness in your life doesn't require you to get that college degree, what a shame to waste all that time, all that money. You could get a head start on everybody else. You could get out there in the field, start working, start doing your thing. That is a huge question. And if you have kids and they're right at that age, let them figure it out and and push them to it. I told Dylan, I was like, what do you want to do? What's your plans here? What's your agenda here? And a lot of times you don't even figure that out until you're later in life, until you're 24, 25, 26, 20. All of a sudden you go, you know what? This is what I want to do. And that's okay. But I can't see wasting $96,000 a year or or even less, like far less if you're going to some sort of state school or something. And, And just throwing that down a well, that's unbelievable to me. You guys ready to hear about a book? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude. All right, let's talk about books. Here we go. Uh, Harvard, speaking of very expensive colleges and institutions, is now saying it's going to ditch one of the books that they have in the Harvard Library. Long been controversial. I think long been interesting. But Harvard says enough's enough. And now they don't even really know how to get rid of this book. The book in question Let's try to bring this up, Celine. Tough one for us, but I know it's got a Wikipedia entry. It just must. Des Destinés de la Homme. Oh, my And bien. I'm going to help you out here. D-E-S is the first word. Destinés, D-E-S-T-I-N-E-E-S. Uh, two E's? Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. It even got a little thing over the top. De, D-E-S. L apostrophe A-M-E, or Destinies of the Soul, is the name of this book in the Harvard Library. 
famed book. Why? Because it's bound with human skin. Yeah, it doesn't Ew. actually have its own Wikipedia page, but the second oh. entry on Google is list of books bound in human skin, which means there's more than one. Yeah, and they tested it. Was that it. a thing? It was, I guess, for a short period of time in the 1800s. They tested it in 2014, and it was indeed human skin. And I don't know if you could find this, but if can you can find this. Can they test the DNA of the skin and, like, uh, throw Very it so up bad. Throw it up on um, uh, uh, Ancestry.com or 23 Me? I, I don't think they need to. If you look up the book and um, look up, like, search the name of the book and then put woman You'll see the history of this person who lived like a horrific life. And like, ended it with getting her skin bound to yeah. a book. Yes, and I can't tell. You might disagree with me on How this. How bad do you want this book in the shelf behind you, Sean? Oh, I would love it, number one. But I can't tell if this is a beautiful fate or a sad fate. All right. To be a book. At the end of your days, I say, when I mean, if you didn't consent to it, sad. Well, the woman th- th- that uh, was used for this, her skin is what makes up the cover of this famed book from the 1800s. She lived a very difficult life, and I don't know if you could bring up her history, Celine, but it would be interesting if we could toss some of that out there. Uh, I just know that as of this week, Harvard said after careful study, stakeholder engagement, and consideration. It is going to remove the skin binding and will work with authorities to determine a final respectful disposition of these human remains. Tell me so, that in the back of this book is that that library card in which people signed out <laughs> on top of this woman's skin. Uh, it could be. I don't know. This is one of the collectible, super expensive ones. So they may like keep this way back and locked away. But they're going to bury it. They're trying to find a way to bury it. But it looks like they've already taken the skin off because now the, oh, yeah? the name of the book, Des Destinées de l'Homme, uh, is now under the list on Wikipedia of books that were formerly bound in human skin. <laughs> okay. All right. The Look, first uh, book confirmed through peptide mass fingerprinting. Uh-huh. Yummy. In 2014. Described by its bookbinder, Ludovic Boland, as bound in the skin of a woman living in a mental institution who had died of a stroke. An inscription on the flyleaf states, a book on the human soul merits that it be given human clothing. Mm-hmm. Okay. It says the University yeah, right, of Harvard. she died by a stroke. They said the first owner of the book by a French novelist took the skin from a deceased female patient without consent. We got to learn more about her backstory, Celan. Google away about the actual person, and we'll give you those details. And I can't figure it out, so I want you to help me out. Guide me through this. Let's let's argue a little bit. Is this beautiful to end up covering a book as the the cover of a, a famous book at a famous college, or is that horrifically sad? And you think this person or what's left of them should be buried somewhere? Let us know. Go to thenewsjunkie.com and hit record on your first dispatch right now. We'll get to those, and oh, we'll get to a movie. The heebie-jeebies, man. It's super weird, but I would like to touch it. Of course you and... would. You'd probably put your tongue on it. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Sean, no, I haven't made up my mind on this yet. Uh, which, rather... which, uh, where's the skin coming from that makes the best book binding? I'd like probably to know your that. Butt. Uh, that's that's your a good butt. point. What part of your body? Yeah. You guys Probably can find about this butt. during the break. <laughs> Quick break. When your we come back, butt. we'll find more about this and see what you think about the skin <laughs> book. That is coming up next on the News Junkie. Dad's book. All the cool kids are doing it, and you want to be like the cool kids, don't you? Well, don't you? The Talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. GoldsmithJewelry.com. There's a couple of accidents to watch out for on Florida's Turnpike northbound approaching I-75. There's bumper-to-bumper traffic. Traffic is backed up to US-301 southbound near I-4. Two left lanes are blocked. Traffic is backed up from Turkey Lake Service Plaza. There's stop-and-go traffic on I-4 eastbound before US-27 and after State Road 429. If you see traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by J. David Tax Law. If you owe the IRS and can't pay, now is the time to call J. David Tax Law. 
After a two-year hiatus, the IRS has resumed their aggressive collections letters. Don't wait. Call J. David Tax Law or visit jdavidtaxlaw.com. The Monster Brew Bus, presented by Wussy's Meat Market, is ready to roll. Saturday, April 13th, with stops in Orlando, Okoe, and Claremont. Tickets for the bus may be sold out, but you can still join us at Brewlando Brewing, Toll Road Brewing, and Claremont Brewing. Special thanks to MCA Transportation and Jersey Mike's. Get more info at realradio.fm slash brew. Are you getting a nice tax refund this season? Even if you're not, grow your money and earn up to 5% annual percent yield on a 12-month share certificate or 5.25% on a jumbo certificate from my good friends at Suncoast Credit Union. This is Mike Bianchi with three Central Florida locations. Suncoast makes it simple for you to become a member and open a share certificate to fit your needs. Visit any of their new locations on South Cimarron, South Orange Blossom, or the Loop in Kissimmee, or just go to suncoastcreditunion.com to learn more. And remember, with Suncoast, you always get more love and less fees. Download the iHeartRadio app and listen to thousands of live radio stations, podcasts, and stream unlimited Limited music playlists for any mood or activity. Powered by City Kia, Central Florida's favorite auto dealer. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking... To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay Hey, what's good, guys? This is Angel from the Monsters. You guys know I love to cook on my big green egg. Why? It's impressive, and everything turns out great on the big green egg. If you don't have one, you got to go to Wasi's Meat Market and get a big green egg. They have the lowest prices in the country. They also have all the accessories, everything that you need. They have the classroom set up so you can teach you the basic techniques on the big green egg and advanced techniques on the big green egg as well. When you get the big green egg from Wasi's Meat Market, there's a lifetime guarantee, so check them out. It's Wasi's Meat Market. Check them on Instagram or go to their website, wassysmeatmarket.com in Melbourne on Wickham Road. It's Wasi's Meat Market. People think Florida is salty because most of our state is surrounded by salt water, but it's the other states that are salty. Why? Because we get to enjoy McDonald's breakfast bagels year round. You see, most parts of the country aren't as lucky as us and can't wake up to a steak, egg, and cheese bagel with a tender, juicy steak patty and savory grilled onions, or a sausage, egg, and cheese bagel with a sizzling hot pork sausage patty, or a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel with thick-cut applewood smoked bacon. Enjoy savory breakfast bagels only at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba at participating McDonald's. When you're eating McDonald's spicy chicken McNuggets, take a moment to appreciate that they're back. And while you may be eager to reach for another McNugget, take a moment to let the spice settle. Because the lightly breaded tempura and blend of aged cayenne aren't just spicy. They're worth it. You can order ahead on the McDonald's app. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. But participate in McDonald's for a limited time. McD app download and registration required. I'm still going for it, even with higher stroke risk from atrial fibrillation and a regular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. Over a three-year study, Eliquis Apixaban tablets reduced stroke risk better than warfarin. And over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. A first stroke occurred in 2.9% of warfarin patients versus 2.3% of Eliquis patients. Don't stop taking prescription Eliquis without asking your doctor. It may increase your stroke risk. Eliquis can cause serious and, in rare cases, fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart heart valve, abnormal bleeding, or antiphospholipid syndrome. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. A spinal injection while on Eliquis increases risk of blood clots, which may cause paralysis, the inability to move. Get medical help right away for unexpected bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling, numbness, or muscle weakness. Medications such as aspirin products, NSAIDs, SSRIs, SNRIs, and blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. 
Eloquist. Learn more at Eloquist.com or call 1-855-ELOQUIST. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. It's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic, wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Mm, this is so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Find out at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Radio, 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 radio. Filling you in on the shocking details. Just try not to pass out. What's a dispatch, you ask? Well, it's the way that you join us here on this radio show and get in front of this amazing audience of uh, folks just like you. The junkies out there are ready to hear what you have to say, and your dispatch can be recorded over at thenewsjunkie.com oh, right yeah. now. Um, we were talking about this book that they said at Harvard. They're like, oh, my God, we're so sorry. The book, we, we should have never had it to begin with. Now we're going to get rid of it. We're going to dispose of it in a proper way, which I guess would mean burying it because the book is covered with human skin. It's from the 1800s. That must Freaky have deaky. smell, right? Oh, it has to have a smell. I don't oh, think it yeah. does. I think no. it's like, uh, think about like things that are leather. They don't yeah. smell. Yeah, oh, no, leather got... has a smell. Yeah, leather does, definitely has a smell. But not like a what you're thinking of, like a rotting human skin but it, smell. But it well, also she didn't goes say... through some process. Do you think that it's the same process for human skin? No. Where's I don't Dr. Think so. Lecter when we need it? I, I don't think so, number one. And number two, it, uh, she didn't say it had to be like a bad smell. It's just like some sort of unique smell, I bet it has. Like, Ah, you know, you get in there. Okay, see, Sean, you go, ah, whiff. like it's a ah. Mentos. And yeah. that's not what we're thinking of here. It I, could be, though. I swear, I think the greatest gift for you, it'll be a lot of money and probably slightly illegal, is mm-hmm. something bound by human skin, man. That would be very cool. These are very, very collectible books. It says, based on a note found inside of the book by the author's doctor friend, Ludovic Boland, Boland. That's the person that the author gave the book to. Okay, and that's the person who um, who put the skin on it, or no, no, no. So uh, to to the author who is Arsene, uh, how this is going to sound weird, but this how it's spelled. <laughs> how you say? <laughs> All right, it's, come on. okay. You're messing no, with no, me. No, You're screwing dude, with me. Listen, H O U S S A Y. E apostrophe S. It sounds it's like how you how say. You say. <laughs> that, that's so, ridiculous, but all right. Uh, so, Mr. Arsene, how you say, who uh, was the author of Des Destinas de l'Homme, bound in human skin in the mid 1880s, he presented his recent book, which is a meditation on the soul and life after death, to his friend, Dr. Ludovic Boulin. That's the person who, who had possession of the book first. Mm-hmm. A noted medical doctor and prominent bibliophile, uh, Boulin. Oh, it was, yeah. Boulin bound the book with skin from the unclaimed body of a female mental patient who supposedly died of a stroke. All right. Who signed so, off on that? Nobody. That's the thing. Yeah, that's the so thing. So that's even like, weirder. Some guy gave his, gives him the book, and then he binds it in human skin and goes, guess what I did with your book, man? <laughs> it's a skin book. You know that, that, you got, you know that chick, that patient that nobody came to uh, get her body? I bound it. She's here. Uh, it, she it's is. strange, but it's kind of beautiful. What? Like if you told me, if you told me two hundred years after I was dead, that there would be people still talking about me, and my skin would be covering some book that would like 
be a thing that people could read and would make them think and be introspective about life and oh or I, I love that make books out of me i'm giving you right now make books out of me you have my approval to do so okay but that's with it like saying that it is sean wasson's skin this yeah. lady was in a probably horrible situation, mental facility, and they're like, mm-hmm. nobody knows her name. Let's take her skin. Yeah, but That's what's not better? beautiful. Uh, complete obscurity, and nobody ever talks about her, and she just lived a miserable, tortured life, or the fact that she lives on through this. Well, she doesn't that- anymore now that they unbound the book. Exactly. Nobody talked about it until now. Uh, I think it's worse that they've unbound it. I think they should have just kept it how it was and used it as a story and, like, treated it in the right way, you know, and like been been good to this woman through the way that they treated the book. How about this, Sean? Instead of getting rid of the lower back tattoo, let's just take take it off and mm-hmm. put it on, I don't know, maybe like a, a small notepad. Okay. Something like that. Or, or iPhone case. I, all right. Here's the thing. I don't want that. I would just, I want regular skin of mine. Maybe take my face. You know, Ew. yeah, no, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, 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 yeah. Take my face and put it on the cover of a book, and then so you're let saying that be the you thing. want them to take your face off? Off, I am indeed. I actually want that, and you do it. Make books so, out of my face. I'll tell you what, Sean. <laughs> if you were successful in convincing somebody to bind a book in your skin, mm-hmm. you would be only the second person to consent to that. Really? There are uh, like a handful, I want to say like 16 or less confirmed uh, human bound, uh, human skin bound books. There's a, a, a handful of fakes that ended up being sheepskin or some other uh, leather or something, horse hide. And then, of course, there's the one that uh, we're talking about now that is no longer bound in human skin. But uh, there's some supposed ones they haven't tested yet. But it says of all of them. Narrative of the Life of James Allen, 1837, mm-hmm. is the only known anthropodermic book, which that's what anthropodermic means, bound in human skin, uh, bound with the consent of its source. The, huh, rest of okay. them, the rest of them are just died, and then somebody took their skin and bound okay. a book in it. Might, might I thrust an, an idea out there as we discuss this, and we get to everybody's dispatches on the skin book, uh, and Harvard going, oh, we're, you know, it's controversy now. We're, we'll take the skin off the book, and then we'll just like, bury it somewhere, and now somehow we've done right by this woman. The woman's famous because of the skin book. Keep her on the skin book and then tell her story. Tell her her story and how difficult her life was and how still somehow she managed. And, like, that's cool. That's awesome. But why do we freak out over this? There's literally multiple bodies exhibitions that travel the globe, and they put people in, like, they have them as like an archer on a horseback with a dead person's body. They inject all their veins full of stuff so that their body can, without skin, still have some sort of form and muscle. And they do this, allegedly, with a lot of people from China that may not have wanted their bodies to go into these exhibitions in at least some cases, allegedly. But we, we don't freak out about that. We buy tickets to that. We go, let's go check out the bodies exhibit that's rolled into town. I know they had one in London when I was there, but we don't, but with this, we're like, oh God, skin book. Uh, I think it's beautiful. I've almost landed on where I think it's like a beautiful thing to do. If you said, Sean, your mother has passed, I would say, okay, yes, I understand that. And if they said, would you like your mother's ashes in an urn or would you like a book that holds some significance to you? To be wrapped in your mother's skin. Give me the skin book. You know what I mean? I don't, yeah. You no, know what I mean? I don't. Do you, think yeah, that I your, do you think that your brother and sister would agree? I don't much care. <laughs> okay. uh, it's, I would just do this. And not for like freako factor. For the idea that yeah, maybe right. somewhere down the line, some guy would be holding my mom's skin. A random stranger. And yeah. And like, oh, this is phenomenal. And Maybe and it's they put a, it right in their pants. How about that? I don't want them to do that necessarily, but I'm willing to risk that as part of the overall beauty of what I think is happening here. And I think you, you have to put it on like a really cool book, right? Like if the book was just Dr. right. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss might do it for some folks. Green eggs and skin. And if, you, if you put it on the right book, it's like, oh, 
That's cool. That's actually really cool. Uh, I think I'm for it. Uh, We'll see what you think with your dispatches. Go to thenewsjunkie.com. Fire off your dispatch to us right now. In just a moment, I'm going to get into um, something that is the most awkward movie premiere that I've heard of in a very, very long time. Here's a first-time dispatch, as far as I'm aware, from uh, Dysentery Daniel, which is a bit frightening, but nevertheless, let's listen in. What's up, Junkies? Hey. <laughs> yeah, just make an erotic novel out of uh, some Sean Watson foreskin there. That'd huh? be a hot ticket item. I'll translate. I heard Every foreskin. Weekend, he said, let's make an erotic <laughs> yeah. novel out of Sean Watson's foreskin, which, sir, thank you for the compliment and Tiny thinking book. that my, yeah. my foreskin would be large enough to cover <laughs> the entire cover of any book, any book out I would there. Look Even freakish if you my, had that much. Mao's Little Red Book or whatever it was. That, huh? Even that. I'd be very, very happy if I could get that kind of coverage. But I don't think that, um, I don't think I'd do you much good, unfortunately. Uh, here is Funny Name talking about uh, the skin. Hey, guys. Good afternoon. While looking up my last name to see if there's any famous people, it's kind of an odd last name, Parrot with two R's, two T's. There was a guy in the Wild West named Big Nose George Parrot. All right. Uh, bank robber, hus- uh, cattle rustler. When he was hanged, uh, the person that hanged him made an ashtray out of his skull and a pair of shoes or boots out of his skin. Um, no, I don't like that. they go through the same process of tanning the leather or tanning the hide. I don't think you guys are getting this. Let me try to clarify something here. There are ways to do this which are romantic and beautiful to me in re- ways that are incredibly disrespectful. If well, you, you don't want to be boots, an ashtray? No, an ashtray or boots, that is demeaning to the person that you're doing this to. You're saying that you're going to spend eternity, in my view, getting ashes on you or being on somebody's feet, which is seen as a negative thing. And that seems like an insult that goes on in perpetuity. Being the cover of a book, the most sacred thing, information, you know, knowledge inside of this. This guy was uh, a, a bank robber that got hanged for like probably in the town square. So he's still a person, though. He's still a person. I wouldn't want them to do weird stuff with most people. Um, save a, a couple, just a few for you know, personal reasons, where I'd say that is fine. I'm absolutely for it right now. Uh, let's do one more real quick. Here is a big bad beard talking about the skin book. All right, guys. I mean, you know, you're gonna why are you gonna take the skin off this book? <laughs> It's been so long. I mean, really, no one in existence is around anymore from when this was done. But uh, imagine if this was like some weird perverted doctor and he took the skin off the breast and now your book has a nipple. (laughs) Don't touch my nipple. (laughs) Nipple book. Some of you guys are weird, man. I, I, I bet I do sort of side with the first half of that dispatch where, like, come on, it's been so long. Why are we taking something that is super unique in our collection mm-hmm. and going out of our way to make it just an ordinary book again because, oh, we feel like there should the skin should have a final resting place. And what's made better by reversing course here and saying we need to bury this and we need to try to do the right thing Nothing's made better, and I think that as things are actually kind of made worse. What, imagine if you could talk to this woman, the woman whose skin was used. I wonder what she Ow! would say. Oh, <laughs> what the hell, man? Come on! I mean, you're Something not wrong. Like that? Yeah, it's, uh, it's probably true, actually, but. <laughs> And once you got over the initial sting of things, I'm sure we get some sort of answer out of the person, I guess. Here's Snob Wasson laying in an opinion on this. What up, Juggies? Yeah, skin cover book, huh? Yeah. Pretty interesting. I'm kind of into uh, when I die, I'd like to be skinned uh, so uh, my tattoos could re- be preserved. People do that. Know, uh, they used to do it in Japan. Um, Japan. I don't think you're allowed to do it anymore, but I know there's got to be somebody out there willing to skin me after I'm dead. There are. Skin so everybody can see my lovely bodysuit of tattoos. Anyways, wiggle, wiggle, pop, pop. You guys have a great day. That's an old school thing. And as a matter of fact, if you go to a lot of oddity shops, uh, you can find where you can buy somebody's tattoo where... Generally speaking, after they died, 
they would cut their tattoo off and they would drop it into like a little little glass mm-hmm. with I don't know formaldehyde or whatever they would put in there, and then they would just trade them down the line as a collectible. I've seen those oh, before, and it's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting. But, like, the larger sheet of skin is way more interesting to me. Like, you could do big things. You could take a whole bunch of people and sew them all together and make one of those things that used to have it at school where you, like, you know, bounce the balls up in the air. Like, the, the, all the, the kids in class hold the edges of it, and you kind of, like, pop the balls up in the air. You guys know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People go like under a, them. Like a rainbow thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing with all the multicolored, oh, yeah, you could do that. Just with human skin, I think you might be on to something. I think this would draw a crowd in even. Not sure is talking about college or no college. Good afternoon, junkies. Uh, my wife has a four-year degree. She does not use, hasn't used it since she got the degree. Oof. And she has about seventy to $80,000 in you know, debt, student loans. Double oof. <laughs> and um, I, on the other hand, have a, a criminal background. I've Triple oof. I've a lot of trouble when I was younger. And I straightened my life out, got into sales. And um, again, I'm not trying to brag or boast, but I make very, very good money. Well, then what um, is it? How much you make? Yeah. How much money do you make? Not sure. You can't tease that out there. I'm very, very wealthy indeed. But not tell us how much money you're making. Dispatch round two will be interesting. This will be the last one for now because Steven has a first time dispatch. And it says Game of Magnets. Hey, news junkies. Hey, you. Long-time listener, first-time dispatcher. That sounds uh, like hey, Michael Sabrina, Seven. Shout out. Yeah, he does. Madonna, uh, hey. Shout out alumni. Shout out also to the white truck. He who... said his name's Steven. Oh, and... I love Steven. And you know his this lovely is? wife, yep. Oh, okay. To- He's... Totes do. And he went to the same uh, school as you did? Yeah, same high school as me. And then uh, they, I mean, I've known him since then. And his mm-hmm. girlfriend and his uh or now wife, the nice enough to introduce the news junkie to us, I believe. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's very nice. Well, let's let him continue. Oh, we just grabbed wrong. our magnet on John Young Parkway out of uh, a silver Hyundai Elantra. Hyundai. I've never seen a magnet before, but I just got mine stolen. So, nice. the magnet is on. Have a great day, guys. Love the show. Love it. Thank you, Stephen. Go Keep Lions. playing out there. When we come back, we are going to hear you, your lovely voice, your thoughts, your opinion. I mean, if you don't have an opinion on skin books, I don't know what to tell you. I think that's one of the things where most people would land somewhere. And it's not like Republican or Democrat. It's not like Trump or Biden. It's like skin book or no skin book. Where are you at on this thing? That's the question I have for you. And I'm waiting on the other side with bated breath for your answer. What does that mean with bated breath? So what are they, what are they uh, saying? Will you put a little shrimp in your mouth? That sounds terrible. I, I, that sounds like a setup for somebody. Bated breast seems bad now that I'm thinking about it. But we wait with that. And the uh, word, we want to hear from you. The word means to restrain, B-A-T-E. With restrained breath? Oh, okay, that makes more sense. What do you think? Let us know. Go to the newsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch right now. Made it to 15 Uh it, At the movies. There's a very interesting movie premiere this weekend. Uh, are you guys jazzed up about anything that's hitting the theaters this week? Anything that's grabbing your attention? I can't remember what's hitting All the right. theaters. No. Now, there's there's something that's playing in the theaters. Ceiling, anything got your attention? You haven't been to the movies in a long time. It's been, it's been a hot minute. I saw Argyle the other day, though. Oh, uh, crazy guy. Yeah. What did you think about that? Uh, it got weird. Uh, after after a, a handful of twists, Ashley started going, this was Sean's idea, wasn't it? Was, was, this, was this a Sean movie? I told you that it was a weird movie. Yeah. And I, imagine being in the theater and watching that movie. And you go, yeah. what are you doing right now? And like, twist on twist on twist on I, twist I, on twist. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. She was dead the whole time, but nope, it was just a dream. It was this, yeah. those are not those are not the twist, folks. But it's just kind of the idea of the whole thing. Uh, all right, we'll talk about it's this. If movie the sixth premiere. sense had a sixth sense, had a sixth sense. Oh, okay. great, true. So yeah. I should definitely smoke weed before it. Yes, without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, okay, when we return, we're going to talk about this movie premiere and how weird it was. And when I tell you what's going on, what movie it was, well, I think you'll understand why this is so awkward. That. Is coming up next on the news junkie. Real radio.
Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. There's a whole bunch of commotion this afternoon. Stop and go traffic on I-4 eastbound before US-27 and after State Road 429. Slowdowns on Florida's Turnpike due to an accident near I-75. Slowdowns on Florida's Turnpike southbound between Leesburg Main Toll Plaza and County Road 561. Authorities are working on an accident on the Greenway northbound between Airport Road and Reinhardt Road. See traffic troubles? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Gatorland. Gatorland knows you need more animals, more gators, and more fun. And now, Florida residents get what they need for less with $17.50 admission. Now through the end of March, we know what y'all need. Y'all need Gatorland. Let me tell you about my friend, That Mortgage Guy Don from ThatMortgageGuyDon.com. He is looking out for you. What local business do you know that has over 1,000 five-star reviews? Well, it's That Mortgage Guy Don. That Mortgage Guy Don is a friend that has your best interest in mind. And when it comes to refinancing, buying your first dream home, you got to work with someone who's looking out for you, not treating you like a number. Don also offers HELOCs, home equity lines of credit, and second mortgages to cash out equity without touching your first mortgage. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote. Peace of mind at your fingertips by going to thatmortgageguydon.com. For our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Tesla Apprentice Last is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there. The fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking... To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's Frank Gay Frankgayservices.com. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Hard Rock Bet presents Legal in Florida. You can bet the game on Hard Rock Bet. No more betting inside your head. Now Hard Rock Bet is legal in Florida. Now Hard Rock Bet is legal in Florida. Legal in Florida. Yes, if it's legal, we'll repeat that it is legal. Top rated sports book and it's the only one that's legal. Get a no regret first bet up to $100 when you sign up now. Offered by the Seminole Tribe of Florida. Must be 21 and over and physically present in Florida to wager. Terms and conditions apply. Concerned about gambling? Please call 1-888-ADMITTED. Want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Owen. I'm a cigarette. Do you like being a cigarette? No, I don't. Not really into killing thousands of people. Sorry, no filter. Right. What's your sign? Uh, Pisces? I'm a cancer. Cigarette joke. But seriously, I do cause cancer. And heart disease. And strokes. I could go on forever. Unlike the people who smoke me. The average smoker lives 10 years less than non-smokers. Quit today. Find out how at TobaccoFreeFlorida.com. Enjoying the news junkie? You've probably heard a ton of injury attorney commercials, but if you are injured and need a lawyer, who's the right lawyer for you? 
That's why we offer our 30-day risk-free trial. If you are not 100% satisfied with the way we treat you and your case within the first 30 days, you can take your file back and you owe us nothing. No fees, no costs, and no questions asked. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Go to JustCallMo.com. Mo DeWitt, Orlando attorney. It's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic, wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Mm, wow, this is so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. Tax Talk with Straight Talk. You give and you give. This tax season you get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get a reliable 5G network and unlimited data and a new Samsung Galaxy A15 for just $99. So you can give your janky phone to your kid. Yeah! Good talk. Switch to Straight Talk for plans starting as low as $25 a line per month for four lines. Find us at Walmart and StraightTalk.com. For network management practices, visit StraightTalk.com. Device offer ends 41424. In-store activation on single silver unlimited plan or higher required. Family plan discount with four lines all on the silver unlimited plan. Taxes and fees apply. It's draft season. The 2024 NFL draft is right around the corner, and the Move the Six podcast has you covered for all your draft needs. The show is hosted by me, Daniel Jeremiah, and my partner, Bucky Brooks. When it comes to Detroit and the draft, Move the Sticks is the podcast that will answer all your questions. Which quarterbacks are going in the first round? Don't worry. Tune in and you'll be ready to watch the draft like a scout. Subscribe now and listen to the Move the Sticks podcast on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Buy a new Nissan today and make no payments till 2025. It's a slam dunk at OrlandoNissan.com. Story time with the three best friends you never knew you had. This is This would be absolutely awkward, all right? I could see how this would be a very, very weird experience. And I told you, Sabrina and Celine, that this had to do with a, a movie premiere this weekend. Uh-huh. And I'm sure you've been uh, thinking about it for at least one second or possibly two seconds of the break um, as I was spending time repairing things here in the studio. But what, we're, what, what broke over there? Oh, uh, I was just, you know, I was replacing a preamp. Yeah, uh, I figured I'd do that. Uh, that happens. You know, during Post commercial amp. break. Might as well. Uh, just tested it, by the way. Working perfectly. Awesome. Um, but this movie is is out now. And it's getting either one of two reactions where it's premiering. And maybe before I give you your last opportunity here to guess this, it's not about the movie as much as it is about where the movie is finally premiering. Now, that's the hint yeah. that I'm going to give you. It's not as much about the movie because uh, I think at least one of us has already seen this movie. And many, 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 many people have seen this movie. But it just finally premiered. In one oh, place. Got it. Oh, they yeah. finally are showing Schindler's List in Germany. Ooh. You're, I, you're on a track. I get it. No. You know what it is? Do you know what it is? Godzilla in Japan. No. In it's China. not Godzilla. No, Godzilla oh. kills in Japan. Okay. Warm. She's warm. Oh, boy. Uh, I don't know which one then. Uh, first things first, I'm going to give you a half point for Japan. Japan. All right, because that was correct. They're yes, showing you're Pearl Harbor me. there. Ooh. Getting warm. Oh, he couldn't be more warm than this unless he actually mentioned the movie, a recent movie, but that just finally premiered in Japan to very mixed reactions. You said Pearl Harbor. What happened a after? Life. What happened after Pearl Harbor? You're talking about some uh, atomic bomb movie? Oh, oh, Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer has finally been released in Japan, yeah. finally premiering there. Did they edit anything out? They didn't, but the reaction is super interesting here. This is they from probably the just Associated thought it was Press. too long. That, that, that was a problem. <laughs> that wasn't their too issue. Too long. <laughs> the Associated Press says, Oppenheimer finally premiered Friday in the nation where two cities were obliterated 79 years ago by the nuclear weapons invented by the American scientist who was the subject of the film. Japanese filmgoers' reactions understandably were mixed and highly emotional. Toshiyuku Mimiaki 
who is somebody who survived the bombing of Hiroshima when he was three years old, said he's been fascinated by the story of J. Robert Oppenheimer, often called the father of the atomic bomb, for leading the Manhattan Project. What were the Japanese thinking, he said, carrying out the attack on Pearl Harbor, starting a war they could never hope to win, he said, with sadness in his voice in a telephone interview with the Associated Press. Very self-deprecating about his people. (laughs) Yeah, isn't that interesting that he watches that and his takeaway is, what were the Japanese people thinking in goading the Americans into dropping the atomic bomb? It was either that or the opposite reaction, which was, how could the Americans commit this grand atrocity of dropping nuclear bombs on populated areas in Hiroshima and Nagasaki? You got one of those two reactions. But isn't it interesting to hear like a Japanese person, specifically somebody who was there when they dropped the nuke and survived it. How much of that do you think he remembers, honestly? None. 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 Three years old? No. Unless it like killed his parents. I mean, you know, he was an instant orphan. Um, what is he, Spider-Man? Uh, I, don't, I don't think that works. I don't think you keep that memory at three. I don't remember anything from when I was three. Not that that says much. I think I the only things I, I remember from being three were things that were captured on videotape that I saw yeah. later. Right. I mean, he obviously knows the story of him surviving this, this Toshiyuki Mumiaki Uh, the guy who said he was three years old, but he blames the Japanese. He really does, which is kind of an interesting take on things. Does he live there still? He, I don't know. Hold on, because it doesn't say it here directly. I'll be doing an extended uh, vacation after that goes uh, out. Toshiyuki Mimiaki is all I have of him. I don't know if he still lives there, but they said the preview. Oh, yeah, Um, he was at the preview, so at least he was in Japan for that. Former Hiroshima Mayor Takashi Hiroka who spoke at the preview event for the film, was more critical of what was omitted from the movie. He said, from Hiroshima's standpoint, the horror of nuclear weapons was not sufficiently depicted. The film was made in a way to validate the conclusion that the atomic bomb was used to save the lives of Americans, he said. Some moviegoers offered praise. One man emerging from a Tokyo theater Friday said the movie was great, stressing the topic was of great interest to Japanese although emotionally volatile as well. Another said he got choked up over the film scenes depicting the atomic bomb. And that was their reaction to this. I bet if this this aired, like, what's what's similar, I'm trying to think. Um, like, if there was a movie about 9-11, which obviously is not nearly as catastrophic as uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, but if there was a movie like that in America... Whoa, did you forget, Sean? <laughs> Never oh, forget. Um, uh, what was it? The Seth Rogen... James Franco, the interview. The, yeah, the North Korea one. That mm-hmm. one was like, uh, hell no, they're going to be playing this in oh, any yeah. theater around there. Yeah, they, uh, they shut that down. They threatened to, um, what was it, hack the system or get rid yeah. of the, the digital version of it, something like well, that? It was many years ago now. Some people say that they did hack Sony, I believe, as a result of them doing that movie, the interview about North Korea and Kim Jong-un which led to all sorts of emails being leaked, and that led to lots of drama in Hollywood. And they iced the movie for a short time before, like, finally re- releasing the thing. I, it's an interesting take. You know, finally, this it, it, like, look how long it took for it to come out in Japan. <laughs> they were really careful, like, a little bit longer, a little bit longer, not just yet. And I've told you the stories of how I went to the World War II Museum in uh in in new orleans mm-hmm. um it's actually a world war museum i think it's or no it is world war ii and uh being in that one well, just where, doesn't get any love not really it doesn't get nearly as much uh even though uh, germany's to blame for both um i don't want to get into that though but we being in the room time. where they talk about hiroshima and nagasaki and having people who are actually japanese in that room with you is like who's a little weird a little uncomfortable and I compare it to 9-11. How many people, Celine, you're my Google guy. Um, I can look Google. Up, I got it. Uh, you look up uh, w- Hiroshima. W- Sabrina, look up Hiroshima. And Celine, you look up Nagasaki. Let's see how many people died from both the nukes. Fat man and little boy just being dropped on these places, All including right. this guy who, who liked the movie and said, look, Japan, you shouldn't have done this. How could you do Pearl Harbor? See, now I'm getting both. So the, they say over the next two to four months, the effects of the atomic bombings, and that's including Little Boy and mm-hmm. Fat Man, was between 90,000 and 100, 146,000. They say ah. in Hiroshima, and then 60,000 to 80,000 in Nagasaki. 
Damn. So upwards of 200,000 people just, you know. And didn't they miss with Nagasaki? I don't know that, if that's a story. I, th- I, th- I think I remember reading, because I, I, I distinctly remember my dad going, if you don't miss with the atomic bomb, it's impossible <laughs> to miss. You know? <laughs> I was like, no, and I learned in school that they did not hit their intended target. I think they intended on killing more people. That was the bigger bomb was Nagasaki. But yeah. uh, but since they, they kind of screwed it up, they didn't kill as many people. They only killed 150 plus soldiers. Only. And, yeah. uh, well, I'm, not, not, not even soldiers, just people, man. No, I'm human saying, being. no there's 60 to 80,000 people killed, but like mm. only a couple of them were the soldiers. Right. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I, I, I distinctly remember like learning that in school, and I came home and like, Dad, they missed. Uh, they missed the second bomb. <laughs> you don't miss with the atomic bomb. <laughs> there are no misses. Oh, Belen. What do you think? Let us know. Go to thenewsjunkie.com and hit record on your first dispatch right now. Ooh. It's been a minute since you burped on air. Let me try that again, Celan, for a weekend. <laughs> Not right, too, come on. Let us know what you think. Uh, give us a dispatch that you can send over at thenewsjunkie.com with your thoughts right now. Uh, okay. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. <laughs> when we come back, the next episode with Sabrina, what's coming up on the next episode? Now do that one again. Try that again. No, I nailed it. What's coming here on the next episode? It is a billionaire that's using his wealth finally for the betterment of society. Soik! He's building Titanic 2 with the goal of ending wokeness. It's just one of them days when 7-Eleven releases a new item for a very, very niche and thirsty group. Plus, the new Beyonce album is here, and so are all of your racist family members, colleagues, and Facebook friends. All that and so much more coming up on the next episode. And that is coming up next on the News Junkie. Coming up tonight on Real Radio at 7, it's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringos Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At 8 p.m., it's Bungalow and the Bus. And at 9, we all find out what the hell is Angel listening to. Tonight on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Good morning and happy Friday. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast. And for the start of the weekend, we're looking at a beautiful stretch of weather. Temperatures today warming into the mid and upper 70s under sunny skies. Those sunny skies and pleasant temperatures will continue into the weekend, although temperatures will be climbing into the low 80s for highs for our Saturday, mid 80s for highs for our Easter Sunday. As we head to Monday and Tuesday, though, temperatures warm into the upper 80s. This report is sponsored by Gatorland. Gatorland knows you need more animals, more gators, and more fun. And now, Florida residents get what they need for less with 1750 admission. Now through the end of March, we know what y'all need. Y'all need Gatorland. Orlando's top-rated comedy club and restaurant is celebrating, becoming the Funny Bone. Formerly the Improv Comedy Club, the Funny Bone guarantees the same great talent and awesome live comedy experience with a new name at Point Orlando. This week, the Funny Bone welcomes Shay Dorina on March 29th and 30th. Your mom's so old, you're going to have to make a tough decision soon. Followed by Matt McCuster on April 5th and 6th. Check out our star-studded calendar and showtimes online at orlando.funnybone.com. Home to the best comedic talent on tour nationally. Come get funny at the the funny bone. Hey, baseball fans, did you know that Fubo has the most MLB games you can get without cable? That's right. Only Fubo has the broadcast networks and regional networks you need to watch your home team all year long. Out of market? Don't worry. Fubo has MLB TV, too. Watch on all your devices at home and on the go. Baseball season is finally here. Get Fubo today. Start streaming FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V.com. By now, you've heard all of our ads. America's largest injury law firm. It means that when you hire us, you get a legal army. When it comes to law, size matters. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. If you're the victim of a car crash, never rush to settle with the insurance companies and never settle for just any attorney. Demand Anna Jarn Levine. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation. And take back control of your life. In Office Orlando.
I'm still going for it, even with higher stroke risk from atrial fibrillation and a regular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. Over a three-year study, Eliquis Apixaban tablets reduce stroke risk better than warfarin. And over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. A first stroke occurred in 2.9% of warfarin patients versus 2.3% of Eliquis patients. Don't stop taking prescription Eliquis without asking your doctor. It may increase your stroke risk. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve, abnormal bleeding, or antiphospholipid syndrome. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. A spinal injection while on Eliquis increases risk of blood clots, which may cause paralysis, the inability to move. Get medical help right away for unexpected bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling, numbness, or muscle weakness. Medications such as aspirin products, NSAIDs, SSRIs, SNRIs, and blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. Learn more at Eliquis.com or call 1-855-ELIQUIS. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then... Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. Canes, Canes, Canes. Get an alarm clock. Get a rooster. <laughs> Canes Super Saturday Sale starts this Saturday at 10 a.m. Prepare to lose your mind. This Saturday for one day only, Canes goes all the way. Everything's on sale. Over $40 million in furniture. The whole shebang. Brand new sofas from $499. Dining rooms from $299. Three-piece beds from $299. Come on. Plus, special financing store-wide. Call the cops. This is stealing. It's Super Saturday at Canes. Canes, Canes, Canes. This Saturday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., it's Super Saturday at Kane's. Doors open at 10 a.m. Kane's. You won't find it for less. Hey, Super Saturday. Kane's, Kane's, Kane's. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you right now. Like Lost 80s. Just search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Do you find yourself stuck in a timeshare? Get the real facts about the timeshare industry and your options for cancellation. Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, has put together a free information guide that reveals the secrets the timeshare industry doesn't want you to know, including the five ways to get rid of your timeshare. Call now and get this timeshare information guide absolutely free. Call 800-919-3200. That's 800-919-3200. They're best friends. Unless they're fighting. Are they fighting? It's happening in the world of entertainment and beyond. And don't forget, friends, if you want to catch up with the show at any time, the podcast is waiting for you on thenewsjunkie.com. And I've had a bunch of people email this week, and they're like, on Spotify, it's not uploading the, updating all the podcasts. Damn it, Spotify. I don't know what to tell you. That's why you subscribe on iHeartRadio, friend. Or as yeah, a backup, number one for music band. and podcasting. That's right. Company people over here. Free at the bottom that- of your hand. That's why you always go to see if we're putting out a show that day to thenewsjunkie.com because you'll see right there on the homepage what the latest show is, and that is always updated. It's not on us. That's Spotify sucking over there. That's, that's their fault, all right? Uh, let's get into it. Let's do the next episode. Because there's a lot on TV, and you can't possibly keep up with all of it, even though you should because what else are you going to talk about? I'm going to make a tiny sandwich. Nothing. Weather's nice. It's time for the next episode with Sabrina. Hey. <laughs> Smoke weed every Hold up. The next episode brought to you by that mortgage guy, Don. That mortgage guy, Don.com. And of course, the Home Loans Radio Show. Refinancing, buying your first dream home. Perhaps you're into business for some corporate loans. He is your man, he is the legend, and he has your best interests in mind. So get on the website right now, that mortgage guy, Don.com.
It was a mere 37 years ago, 1987, the peak of an um, mania of sorts. Yeah, and in front of 93,000 fans at the Pontiac Silver Dome, Hulk Hogan body slammed 520 pound Andre the Giant to retain the WF title of WrestleMania 2. Yeah. Yeah, brother, what you gonna do? Oh, it was WrestleMania 3. I apologize. Oh, that's a but, long time uh, ago. Yeah, congratulations. I wasn't even alive. Sean, you were what, 20? I wasn't 20. You were? What year was it? It was 1987. I was, was only six. six. Yeah. I was six years old. So that's old enough to remember. I was not even alive. Yeah, but I didn't watch much wrestling back then. I wasn't super into it. Uh, only when I was like, only around the time that The Rock was there was I interested in wrestling and tuning into that kind of stuff. If uh, you it, smell. Yeah. The Rock or Stone Cold. That was like my time when I was watching wrestling. Well, I'll tell you what I'm smelling, and that's that brand new Beyonce oh. album. Oh. Oh, yeah. Just a quick question. How many songs are on this album? Because I saw something that was like 27 song album. I go, wait, what? There's a lot of like little intros. It's only, it's a little over an hour long, but uh-huh. uh, yeah, it's 27 songs. My God. But there's like intermission stuff in between. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'll tell you what, I did little something. Skits like Kim and Cookie? I felt like Sea Lane because uh, during, it was like released on a Friday, but Australia got it released technically on our Thursday. Uh huh. So. I have my Bay group was on it and I had to download Telegram and then okay. had to find a particular group uh-huh. and then I was able to listen to the album ahead of time but it was just in little clips and I felt like one a hacker and two just so pleased because this album is tight. Okay. And everyone's like this ain't a country album. Stay in your lane. And it's not a country album. She specifically said that this is a Beyonce album. And she did a damn good job of it. <laughs> what a Beyonce thing to say. It is, but like uh. everyone's like, she does some stuff with country influence. She is uplifting some black country artists, and everyone's like, you're not gonna make the CMT Awards. That's enough, Beyonce. What what black country artists is she uplifting? Uh, there's quite a few names that were unknown to like the mainstream that are featured on on her new album. Now, are they here right in front of me? No. Am I forgetting their names as you ask me? Yes. But they're there, I promise. Maybe uh, someone can that, Google while I'm saying this. Uh, there's some very big names on this album. I Dolly know that P, for sure. Willie Nelson, yeah. Post Malone. And did you hear the, um, so she did a cover of Dolly Parton's song. Which one was it? Um, Jolene, but she Jolene. remixed, redid it. Like, it's her was own it, lyrics. Is it good or are you just thinking about Dolly Parton the whole time? I mean, I think it's great. Mm-hmm. It's also It's like a big... It's relatable. It's a big F you. It, it yeah. comes back to like the Lemonade album and the, the cheating scandal. Oh, she's so, talking about that again? Yeah. So instead of Jolene, like, please don't take my man. It's like, Jolene, stay the F away from my man. All right. I loved okay. it. Some of them really shake. Some of them, there was one song, what is it? Um, Protector, that mm-hmm. her, one of the twins, the, the girl twin, Rumi, Rummy, Rummy, you know, our girl. Um, All right. She is featured in it. And it's like, can you sing me the lullaby? And there I was, 6.30 in the morning, tears. I don't even oh, have a wow. So, I mean, I absolutely love it. And those that are Lyft um, customers, you're going to love this. They have offered fans 50% off to go to listening parties with the album. I guess it was a response to Uber offering, uh-huh. what was it, maybe uh, 16% off by yeah. using 16 carriages promo code. And then Lyft responded by saying crumbs were left doubled down and said, we'll give you 50% off rides with another oh. promo code headed your way. So All right. congratulations. Now, I don't know if this is going to be, be really convenient. If the listening party was like next to the airport. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> We're going to listen to it right there at the terminal. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And if Beyonce decides to release several different types of vinyl, then this gal is not going to be a fan of it. Duh. Oh, oh, Billie Eilish. Oh, yeah, Billie yeah. Eilish is now calling out artists for being wasteful by releasing multiple vinyl variants to boost their sales and album rankings. She's talking to you, ABBA, or the hologram of. She says it's frustrating because she goes out of her way to be sustainable. Says all of her vinyls out of recycled materials. For example, uh, the most recent one was made out of 
uh, re- recycled scraps and the wrap itself from sugar cane. So you could eat it. <laughs> okay. She doing that at her own cost. I mean, like at some point, I, I'm you gotta thinking pass it's it on, pretty right? expensive to ensure that every vinyl of your music that's produced is A, recycled and B, wrapped in sugar-based wrapping. But is that when it's sugar-based? Does it mean like you can eat it? You like, probably could. Or, you get, or if it gets thrown out the window, it'll go back into the earth. It might be a Play-Doh situation where you can eat it. But you probably shouldn't mm. necessarily eat it. Oh, it's made out of cucumber. Then this guy won't eat it. Michael Jackson? Undertaker oh, no. is correct. Oh, we're so close. A, we're in a full circle wrestle this bitch. The Undertaker, he, dead he man. He met the Undertaker. I got that. Michael Jackson met the Undertaker. Oh, so like, I was true. technically in hey, the vicinity. Undertaker, want to go to a sleepover? And thus concludes my Michael Jackson impression. The Undertake Undertaker me. is uh, terrified of cucumbers for some reason because he ate too what, many. Is he, a cat? he ate too many one time when he was a kid and puked them up, and even the smell of them makes him nauseous. <laughs> That's so, the weirdest thing. Even the biggest and baddest have a fear of something. Have you ever seen those videos where people like sneak a cucumber behind their cat, and yeah. when the cat yeah. notices, it freaks the f out? Yeah, but do that behind a female prisoner, and they're like, "Hey." <laughs> <laughs> What do you guys think? Send a dispatch now. Go to thenewsjunkie.com. Does that work? Yeah. I mean, it's going to have to. You go with the cat thing. I had like a plan to end it. So it's like, have you seen the videos? It was good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. All right. Uh, but yeah, cucumbers, the undertaker, they're no good. Do you know what lamb fries are? Because this is new. No, I don't think so, actually. Well, uh, apparently this gal right here. Dolly Parton? Ra- River McIntyre. I almost oh said Rabba McIntyre. I'm not even doing it on purpose anymore. I, I feel like you are, though. I'm not. I'm telling you. I, I'm not being honest here. We were for a while. Yeah, I know, and I then know. she uh, expressed that she hated it, so I was like, fine, we won't do it anymore. We'll stop having fun. Thank you for respecting me, Sean. Well, now I'm doing it again, but I'm doing it on accident. Reva McIntyre is her specialty. In a 1982 interview that somehow is making the rounds again, she uh, was asked about them. A journalist tried to ask her about them, and she said she had a hard time answering, partly because she was a little shy, partly because she was laughing too hard, mm-hmm. and then mostly because we... Don't know what they are. Now I'm going to give you another word for lamb fries. All right. Mountain oysters. Oh, testicles. Oh, yeah. Big old bull balls. Really? I've never heard that. Lamb fries is another way to say it? Yeah. And now this is the weirdest part to me is that she said she would serve them to guests, but she would tell them that it was fish. And to that, I'm like... You shouldn't yeah. be lying to people right, that you're yeah. giving food to. That's true. Uh, much like giving a book to somebody that's made out of skin. Mm-hmm. Like, give the whole heads up of all the of it. The whole head. Okay. I'm sorry? The whole heads up? So, like, you utilize you their head? You saw your face on a book. Okay. Uh, yes, that would be great, if how, you don't mind. How about some blue milk? All right? Because that's coming to a store near you what thing in star wars did they drink blue milk was over at, yeah. is that the the jizz factory or uh where they yeah, play jizz, jizz? music jizz, jizz music. music yeah yeah mm-hmm. um star wars day of course is on may the 4th oh, that is right and I was gonna say it. blue milk is only in one scene in the star wars movies it's the 1977 original where luke is talking to his aunt and uncle but it's popular enough that they're going to serve it over at disney Mm. You know what you got to get in the Star Wars world? I hear you got to get the Ronto wrap. That's that? the thing. I don't know. It's a thing from Star Isn't Wars. Is Ronto like what he uh, gutted to uh-huh. keep himself warm? Yeah, yeah. And they, they pretend like it's that, but it's something else. Oh. And it's supposed to be really good. You get the Ronto wrap. All right. Let's see if you are. Uh, we're just going on a full food train. Now, right. they are guaranteeing. They are doubly, do- doubly downing. Triple downing. That uh-huh. this has nothing to do with this band. It's just Limp Biscuit. Limp Biscuit is right. But you chocolate starfishes, get ready because 7 Eleven is rolling out a new hot dog flavored sparkling water. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. yep. I this is this was a hoax. No, this well, is definitely their April it's Fool's. April prank. Fool's thing. But now we're doing yeah. April Fool's where you have to tease people ahead of time? Yeah. We're in March doing April Fool's. So annoying. Yeah. Yeah, but they uh, they have, like, a new slew of art-inspired miracle seltzers. They have lemon lime, green apple, sweet orange, mm, okay. and then big bite hot dog flavor water. 
And they, I would try it. And they say ketchup and mustard included as well. Uh, the last year they did like a mini frosty or whatever. Do a day is. of? Why are they teasing it ahead of time? Unless they're yeah. actually going to put the product for one day. If and they did it, good on you. Then that's fun. I like it. If they actually did it, I think that's cool. I think this is cool, and I'll leave you off with it for the weekend. This band right here. Wait for it. Um, Come on. Oh, ICP. No, no, no. Oh, uh, Hits from the Bong. Cypress Hill. Cypress Hill. Cypress Hill is right, and they are going to, and the Simpsons actually called it years ago, have a concert with the London Symphony Orchestra. Which is pretty dope, if you ask me. 71 Piece Orchestra will be there uh, alongside Cypress Hill for a concert this summer, July 10th. Uh, They're going to do Insane in the Brain, I Want to Get High, Hits from the Bong, all with a handful of um, professional orchestra people. Nice. And um, that's a good way to end it all. Have a great weekend, everybody. Uh, The Boob Tube is there for you. Whatever you're streaming, just do it safely. While you're sipping on hot dog water, follow me on Instagram at Sabrina Ambra. And most importantly, stay with me, America. Smoke weed every day. Thank you, Sabrina. Mm -hmm. When we come back this week in Florida with C-Lane, a little bit behind, we'll get all caught up and we'll hit you with that. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Do you do words good? Prove it. The Talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Traveling on I-4 this afternoon, you can expect your regular delays before U.S. 27 and approaching the beach line. Authorities are clearing up an accident, causing heavy delays northbound, approaching I-75. Traffic is backed up from County Road 470. There's an accident southbound on Florida's Turnpike, causing delays between Leesburg, Main Toll Plaza, and County Road 561. See traffic troubles? Call the Valvoline and Stin Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Blue Stream Fiber. HOA and condo board members, it pays to have fiber. Let Blue Stream Fiber show you how fiber internet provides revenue for communities while saving up to 50% off retail rates. Visit bluestreamfiber.com slash radio to find out more. Homeowners, are you ready to love your home again? Install Brick Paver can build eye-catching walkways, patios, or driveways. They can build custom fire pits for relaxing with your family. They even build outdoor kitchens and build retaining walls. Everything you need to create a perfect outdoor paradise. Install Brick Paver can do it with spectacular results. Go to installbrickpaver.com to see our amazing home makeovers. You can also get a free no-obligation quote for your outdoor project. Call for free information now. 407-337-4040. Call 407 407- 7337-4040. Install Brick Paver is a family-owned and operated company with over 20 years experience and fantastic Google reviews. We are Orlando's finest family-owned paving experts. Fire pits, pool decks, paver driveways, patios, and hardscaping. Install Brick Paver does it all. Call for your free estimate now. Get in early before our spring schedule gets booked. Call 407-337-4040. That's 407-337-4040. You don't need a resolution to lose weight. You need a solution. And that's Red Mountain Weight Loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has full-strength semaglutide in their newest medication called Revelex. It's specifically formulated to provide full-strength semaglutide in a daily tablet. With Revelex, you'll lose up to 15 pounds a month. And it's not a shot, so you can skip the weekly trips to a doctor's office. But here's the best part. Revelex costs about half of what you'll pay for other semaglutide medications like Ozempic. That's right. I said half the price. Plus, Red Mountain includes medically supervised meal plans and free lifetime maintenance to help you keep the weight off. So why go anywhere else? At Red Mountain, you get no shots, just results for half the price. Trust the leader in medical weight loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has helped millions of people lose weight safely, and they can help you too. Go to RedMountainWeightLoss.com. That's RedMountainWeightLoss.com. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. 
Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Hey, everybody. Jim Colbert here with my friend Judy from Life Imaging FLA. Judy, we know we've been talking about saving lives now for about nine months. The testimonials have been like just bananas. But the one thing we don't cover is how easy this is. It's remarkably easy. I think my scan took eight minutes, and I got a full body scan. Is that the norm? Absolutely. It's normally under 10 minutes, and it's the most simplest thing ever. If you're claustrophobic, it's open. It's an open scan. You don't take your clothes off. There's no injections or dyes, none of that. You don't have to worry about being scared about it. That's another thing. People are like, I don't want to be in that tube. But you never go in. It's the most simplest thing you'll ever go through. That's right. Be proactive today. Take control of your health. Call Life Imaging FLA right now. Get that free heart scan. Just a few minimum requirements. That is a $699 value, and it couldn't be easier. From your cell phone, call pound 250. Say the keyword free heart scan. That's all you have to do. Pound 250. Say the keyword free heart scan. You'll be connected in seconds. And remember, when you get there, ask about the cancer screening as well. It is better to know now than worry about this tomorrow. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto-dial text message from iHeartMedia. If you ask anyone who's experienced LASIK, they will tell you it's the best thing they've ever done. And more often than not, they'll add, I should have done it sooner. So what are you waiting for? The Filatowski Eye Institute is offering free LASIK consultations. Just text 1041 to 868686 and start your journey to better vision with the Filatowski Eye Institute. They've performed over 65,000 LASIK procedures using the latest state-of-the-art technology. If finances aren't concerned, they offer 24-month interest-free financing. Text 1041 to 868686 to schedule your free LASIK consultation at the Filatowski Eye Institute. Happy hour is back at Twin Peaks. Get up there Monday through Friday from 2 to 6 p.m. or late night Sunday through Thursday from 10 p.m. till close and score sweet deals like 22 ounce Peak Signature Taps for $4.50. How about half price wine by the glass and epic shots of Fireball, Jack Honey and Cuervo Silver for just $2.99 and if you're feeling snacky they also have some of their favorite apps available for just 5 bucks including queso and chips, fried pickles, billionaire's bacon, and crispy mini tacos. Get up to Twin Peaks. Eats, drinks, scenic views. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Frank Gay has something cool for you. Keep your AC running smoothly with a tune-up for only $89 for a limited time. Friendly, speedy, and expert service. That's the Frank Gay way. Visit FrankGayServices.com or call for details. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because your case matters. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. The most viral newsroom on the planet is still humming along. This I got to tell you, I tend to know how this week in Florida is going to go based on all the Florida stories that the day of, I have to stash to the side. I'm like, I don't want to steal this. Don't want to steal. There's some, there's some good stuff out there right yeah. now. I think I mean, this could be, uh, this would be good. This sound makes any, you know, indication. Yeah, that's your stack right there. Yeah, I mean it's pathetic. You know, I got, I got this over here. Yeah. Huh? Oh, huh? You know what I'm saying? You so know what I'm talking Sabrina, about? Sabrina, what's your stack look like? Um, I don't waste uh, paper like Ooh. that. So. Oh, the environmental try, hit. Try oh. not to kill trees, bro. 
All right, here we go. Just Are you ready? Kidding, I have so much paper. Uh, we all waste over here. Are you ready? Uh, show me an app that does a better job, and, and I'll, 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 I'll use the app. This. I'll use the iPad app and uh, the show prep app. Uh, we need something like that, but uh, building it seems expensive. There's a lot of other things to pay for, yeah, so. There it is. You ready to do this, Bye, paper wise? Trees. Ready, Sean. Here we go. Let's do this week in Florida. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Giving you a recap of the most grown worthy stories in the state. It's this week in Florida. That's right. The weekend is here. It's time to take a trip around the Sunshine State, see some of the craziness that has gone on in the past seven days or so. And, guys. Yeah, Florida has figured it out. Oh, they we did. Figured, oh. figured it out. They figured out climate change. They know exactly what to do about oh, climate good, change. Good, yeah, because it's right? been so hot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, you're right. Uh, the effects of climate change are hard to ignore, no matter your politics. It's the hottest state. Miami spent a record 46 days above a heat index of 100 degrees last summer. Mm-hmm. Many homes and businesses clustered along beachfront areas threatened by rising seas and hurricanes, and the Republican-led legislature has responded with more than $640 million for resilience projects to adapt to coastal threats. But well, we got the answer. What's that? Delete it. Oh. Do, uh, is that easy? That sounds good. Control-alt yeah. or just no, straight no, up No, no, shift. Skip the recycle bin. We delete it. We just take all of our laws. I love that. We open them up in Microsoft Word. Mm-hmm. And then we hit F3 to find and and just delete every mention of climate change. Or, or that would be what this bill on the uh, on the docket is for. Good? Yeah, on the libtards with this nonsense. They blame climate change on everything. A bunch of weirdos. It's they, like the weirdest thing happens. They're like, climate change is responsible. Hello, Pander Police. You there? Are, are we going to get uh, overwhelmed by giant seas and, and terribly hot weather? Maybe, but I'm, uh, I'm here for it regardless. Uh, we'll bill, see what happens. Bill awaiting signature from Governor Ron DeSantis, who dropped out of the Republican presidential race in January, would ban offshore wind energy, relax regulations on natural gas pipelines, and delete the majority of mentions of climate change from existing state laws. Mm-hmm. Uh, says uh, Florida's on the front lines of the warning, warming climate crisis, and the fact we're going to erase that sends the wrong message, according to the uh, director of the CLEO Institute, a climate education call and advocacy now. nonprofit. I think they, they would like you, for you to call them if you want to talk about climate change. Donate mm-hmm. to me now. Uh, we uh, have a, a pair of best friends who uh, have set out to do something really incredible. Yeah. That is set a Guinness World Record. Now, we've tried... To set our own Guinness World Record on this very we, show. We just did it one time, or have we done it a couple times? Um, at least once. The Ferrero Rochers. I'll yeah. never forget that. We gave it our best. We did what we could, but it, they were very, very hard to beat records that we were attempting, for sure. I mean, but you were trying to go for a record that you thought would be easy to beat. Mm-hmm. And that's fine. That's all, that's all good and fine. We tried it. it. It wasn't as easy as we thought it was, but at least it wasn't something that was going to take us, like, I don't know, forever. Mm. Uh, two women have attempted the longest car trip by toy car. Oh, come what? on. Must be nice to have that retirement money. Yeah, really. What are, these people are unemployed, clearly. What's happening here? What is what what, what constitutes a, a toy car car trip? Good question. Uh two two women, Cassie Aaron and Lauren. Uh that's Cassie Aaron and then a person named Lauren are attempting a 500-mile drive down the coast of Florida to earn the Guinness World Record for longest distance by toy cars. And their journey begins in Duval. Duval. Yeah. Uh, Cassie and Lauren started their journey at Friendship Fountain because they are best friends and should end at the southernmost point buoy in Key West. That sounds just excruciatingly but what's long. what's the toy car? Like the Barbie cars? Yeah, it's like uh, like one of those battery operated things. I think. That's oh, like a like a, a pow pow power wheel kind of thing. I think so. Uh, it says they've been close friends since their kindergarten days in New Jersey, where they rode battery powered toy cars in the neighborhood, like a power wheel. And now they're forty and fifty years old. Yeah. Also, tell me you grew up a rich kid without telling me you grew up a rich kid. Yeah. I didn't have those damn. That things. was the one thing I always wanted that I never bet. came my way. You could get me the the Barbie Jeep, and I just wanted something that that drove itself. Honestly, a little part of me is like, uh, you know, Mary was my best friend because uh-huh. she had that car. Yeah. <laughs> because I wanted yeah. to drive it. All Other than that, Mary sucked. Yeah, she yeah. did. It's a benefit for sure. Uh, so they're, they're uh, besides aiming for a Guinness World Record, which currently doesn't exist. So they could have picked like a 200-mile journey, but they mm-hmm. went with 500. 
And remember when we interviewed the the guy that did the the world record broadcast? He had all those rules. Yes. Yeah. So they uh, they had to petition the the world record people, and they came up with all these stupid rules for this stupid journey. Mm-hmm. To receive the official title of longest journey by toy car, Guinness must be a hundred percent certain the two did not cheat. So they created a daily checklist to keep track of the dozens of things they must have uh, uh, in order at the end of their journey. Uh, they were sent a giant rule book of things they can and can't do. Some rules include the shell of the cars must remain the same during the entire journey. The batteries, tires, and wires may be, be replaced, but they must be the same ones that came with the vehicle. They must carry specific things with them at all time, like a GPS tracker uh, and all kinds of things. So they like, have to buy, like, five cars, don't they? No, it's got to be the same car, I think. Right, but if you, to replace the wires and the battery, I mean, they're going to have to either sit and charge it up or they... <laughs> Get the brand new one wired in. That's why this takes so excruciatingly long. This is stupid. Like, why would you Can want you to subject yourself to this? Lost. Can you imagine living in like Guatemala and hearing this story? Like <laughs> you're just trying to get by. To you're eat. just yeah. You want to like have dinner and feed your family and like live and like maybe we could get a new roof on our place. And you hear oh, there's these two ladies in Florida driving hundreds of miles in a power wheel to get the world. Because right. we're best friends. They don't have any problems over there. Unbelievable. Um, to answer your charging question. Mm-hmm. So first of all, this is not the first time they've attempted this. Oh. The toy cars they used on their first go around hit the sidewalk and failed them only a few miles in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now they have these Freddo rocket cars. When they tested the battery life, they lasted around 11 miles, which means they have to stop and change their batteries every 11-ish miles, and, they, right. pu- and they charge they the batteries. funding this? They charge you the batteries see, overnight at hotels. You want to see what they're talking about here? This yeah. is what they're talking about. Fredo Rocket, um, for those of you who don't know, they're $1,800, and oh, it's, it's like, like two uh, grown women fit in that? Yeah, I guess so. I think they it's have like two a, cars. I think it, they use two cars. Uh, this is a very, very advanced power wheel. Like, this is $1,800, so yeah. it's a nice thing. Here. This is more power power wheel. Hell yeah. Uh, the Binford uh, 2800 power wheel. Max weighed 220 pounds for this thing. Ooh, count me out. Well, it's got an MP3 player in there, too. Oh, nice. cool. Mm-hmm. So Ooh, they uses can MP3 hear more. sweet tunes while they uh, oh, do their journey and change the battery every 11 miles. You can't get through a podcast in 11 miles. Here's Brandy? here's in, inside of this thing. I'll put this up on See It Now so you can see the kind of I mean, car they're doing sweet. to break this regular. It's not too bad, huh? Oh, half those buttons are fake. Most of those buttons so? are fake. Yeah. yeah it looks cool. cool, though. I mean, yeah. it doesn't as soon as you have two grown-ass women going down <laughs> Florida. <laughs> so corny. Uh, did you guys uh, observe uh, Manatee Appreciation Day? Of course. I did. Yeah. Of course I did. Oh, well, thanks for the invite. Oh. Real Real stupid. Did you see there was was somebody um, like pulled up uh, like on a Florida river and saw the skeleton of a manatee and Mm -hmm. it looked, I mean, once that thing kind of decays, it is a completely different type of animal when you see the entire skeleton. So is it fat or big boned? Big boned. Oh. Very big boned. I thought it was like, oh, you found a woolly mammoth in a Florida river, but no, it was a manatee skeleton. Weird. Fun fact, party time. Well, thank you for that. Hey, you no know, this, like the weekend's a good time for these little tidbits. Oh, I appreciate yeah. them. All right. Well, let's get in a little Hot Wheels and go down the coast. Happy Manatee Week. Uh, a lot of talk about Sean Diddy Combs this week. Uh, his dilemma is continuing. And they uh, have arrested a man who they say uh, was uh, Sean Combs' drug mule in mm-hmm. Opalaka. A 25-year-old man. He's got a 25-year-old drug mule. I mean, how old was this kid when uh, I'll Be Missing You was popping off? <laughs> I don't think Probably he was alive. Good. Yeah, Let's he see. might not have been alive. I'll Be Missing You. Think about right? it. Anyone That's who was born in 2000, he's yeah. probably being born that year. Yeah, it was yeah. The, probably the year he was born. That's weird. The suspect, Brendan Paul, was described in a recent lawsuit arrested on Monday. He was charged with one count of possession of suspected cocaine. Just one. You could be charged with possession of suspected cocaine? Mm-hmm. That's that pink cocaine, they, right? They charge you before they even know it's cocaine? That seems like a... This seems like a as a matter of fact, justice. Right now, there are three officers maneuvering their way through iHeartRadio, and they're about to bust into your studio. Oh, good luck. Just the suspicion of that pink cocaine being somewhere around you, C-Lane, is enough have, to do. I got in. nothing. Uh, he was charged with one count of the suspected cocaine and another of possession of suspected marijuana candy after federal agents intercepted Combs' plane at Miami Opalaka Executive Airport. Oh, so this is like the guy that holds the drugs. Mm-hmm. Like, you're like, he's just paid good money 
to uh, you know, like on the Nelly bus, you know, when they they went through that uh, that that checkpoint. Yeah, and the, this the one guy was like, "All this heroin and guns, all mine." <laughs> Nelly had nothing to do with it. it was well, lo- I, but but to Sabrina's point, they did make a mention that this is pink. Pink cocaine was the thing that they had said that we were talking about here. And does that like to make it more expensive or? I don't don't think that you should snort anything that's illegal, first of all. (laughs) But you go and put something in front of you that's a different color than it has been for decades. I mean, come on. If I was like, I got the white stuff here, the pink stuff here, you're not going to try to sniff the pink stuff? Absolutely not. Nor the white stuff. Thank you. If it was pink, I would assume that you like <laughs> ground up some pill or something. I don't know. All right. I don't know anything about pink coke. I know that there was a, a dude on uh, giving an interview on Loveline once, and he was like a a small actor, and he uh, was to get he lost all his money. He parties his ass off. He mm-hmm. should have money. He doesn't. And they're like, "What happened?" Like he was like, "When you when you party like that, you party with you know rich people. They have richer things to do." There's more expensive <laughs> drugs. He goes, I didn't know cocaine came in yellow. And I swear, oh, he kept what? trying to tell a story, but for the rest of the interview, uh, it was just Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew going, tell me more about yellow cocaine. <laughs> so uh, the searches were connected, obviously, to this investigation by federal authorities in New York as part of the sex trafficking probe that's been all over the news. Uh, the uh, plane intercepted at Opalaka Executive Airport was the last place Combs was seen in public since after the music mogul Star Island home Miami Beach was raided along with the one in Los Angeles. Speaking of Miami Beach, there was a beloved homeless man who passed away. Oh. Yeah. Jonathan Crenshaw. That name ring a bell to anybody? Fatality. No. I don't think so. No. Uh, he was a Miami Beach artist with no arms. Oh, all right. Okay. He would paint stuff with his feet. He was. Oh, a... I, d- I do recognize this guy. 100% I do. Yeah. I, 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 uh... think, I think what, see, he's been arrested a handful of times, and I think one time... Oh, it was a full of times. Uh, one time it was of particular interest to us because they got him on like an armed robbery. We we're like, no, 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 false. He doesn't did you ever have see, arms. Uh, did you see the video where the bar stool guy was doing his pizza review and this this homeless guy? Oh, went by? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, and he goes, gotcha. he, he stares at him and he stares at him. He's so confused because the guy just said a bunch of weird, crazy stuff. And then he goes. How is he holding the pizza box? Because the guy had a pizza box in his hand. Or he was, like, dragging a crate or something. Well, sadly, this guy's been dead for a whole year and is now just coming to the news at MiamiNewTimes.com. Uh, he was a uh, a staple of the well-known homeless South Beach area. Uh, cause of death was esophageal varices mm. or mm. something like It'll that, which was caused something? by a fatty liver disease. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. And last but not least of this week in Florida, a man... Was arrested. He was caught, and I had I had questions when I read this. Masturbating on a child's bicycle what? in a Walmart parking lot. Okay. Did you have the same need, question? Need you say more? I, I, was I, he riding it? Or he was. He, he, he was. Okay. I thought maybe he was, you know, on to the bicycle. Right. But yeah. no, he was. Uh, but this a little is, basket. This, this is kind of even more impressive. Uh, the a woman uh, officer spoke with a woman, the victim, a homeless woman who was in her vehicle. And uh, they said the guy was masturbating while riding the child's bicycle near her truck. Based on the description given by the victim, police quickly located and confronted the man. And he was arrested and transported to the Broward County Main Jail. And that's it for this week in Florida. Thank you, C Lane. That was a and banner Florida week, man. There was a lot of weird stuff happening, man. Yeah. By the way, weird, yeah. unused pile. Wow. Wasted paper. Just completely. This is why we have climate change, I, man. I can do this week in Florida, too, electric Not in boogaloo. Florida. Not Unbelievable. In Florida. Yeah, you just delete it. Gets rid of it. I like that. That's the best solution. Because all the other stuff they want you to do is insane. I ain't eating the bugs. I'm not living in a little pod. I'm not going to drive whatever weirdo little vehicle that runs yeah. on, like, good vibes. I'm not doing any of this stuff. I'm a man. All right? I'm a man. A vehicle that runs on good vibes. Yeah. It was, you know, it's all this hippie stuff. Oh, man. good vibe vehicle. <laughs> so take it over. Uh, did you guys see that Gypsy... Welcome to the happiness car. The, the most predictable thing in the world. Gypsy Rose Blanchard is now single again. She <laughs> oh, okay. Is, you know, yeah. Uh, she and her husband, Ryan Scott Anderson, are calling it quits less than three months after she was released from prison. You might remember her ex is in prison because she convinced him to kill her mother because her mother is a monster of a human being. Was. Uh, 
Yeah, it was. Yeah, she's dead now. Her mother was doing all the man chows and by proxy stuff to her. Um, just really, really horrible stuff. And she gets out. She falls in love with this guy. And she's talking about how their sex life is so good and things are going great for them. And then uh, just the bottom fell out, and uh, they're no longer with each other. People have been asking what's going on in my life. Unfortunately, my husband and I are going through a separation, and I moved in with my parents' home down on the bayou, she said. So single and ready to mingle, boys. Get out there. Get you some Rose Blanchard, whatever her name is. Rose Gypsy Rose Blanchard uh, is indeed her name. Do you think her parents are a little weary? Yeah, <laughs> what I, would, I would think that might be an issue. I think they might be, you know, not you know. Obviously, they've I think supported her throughout her mm -hmm. prison stint, but you know, but still moving back you, in, there must be a little part of them in the back of their heads. You know what she's capable of? No, I think they're 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 the opposite of the Munchausen. Like anytime she has a little snivel, they're like, "You're fine, totally fine, <laughs> everything's okay." Like you don't think I feel any warm? Some dirt on ice it. cold. <laughs> All right, quick break. When we come back, uh, a robot in the news, and I told you. You know, I told you this was going to happen. We'll get into what went down here and why Boston Dynamics is making things worse as they always are. Plus, we got an interview coming up in about half an hour or so with a, a pretty astonishing woman who has been in the news for her business. What's she up to? Well, wait till you hear. I think you're going to be interested. That is coming up next on the News Junkie. You text us at 77031 and we say it on the air. Sometimes we might even give you credit. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and OrangeBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. All lanes are blocked on Silver Star Road westbound at Pine Hills Road due to police activity. There's bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic due to an accident on Florida's Turnpike northbound approaching I-75. Expect delays on Florida's Turnpike southbound between Leesburg Main Toll Plaza and County Road 561. You see traffic troubles? Please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Gatorland. Gatorland knows you need more animals, more gators, and more fun. And now, Florida residents get what they need for less with $17.50 admission. Now through the end of March, we know what y'all need. Y'all need Gatorland. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Tesla Apprentalast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Hey, Magic fans, when you're heading out to the Kia Center or anytime you're away from your business, commercial, or residential property, or you have a special event and you want to be sure that you're well protected, contact American Protection Services and Investigations, proud partner of the Orlando Magic. For a full list of our security services, dial 833-4-APSI. Over 30 years in the business, your safety is our top priority because your business is our business. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Sunnyside Electric. Oh, hi. I'm worried about my electrical panel. For static electricity problems involving your cat, press 1. No, my electric panel. For all other inquiries, press 2. Don't even have a cat. Fine. What's your problem, then? My electric panel. It's making sort of a humming noise. Impossible. If your panel is working normally, it should be silent. I know. That's why... Have you tried using those noise-canceling headphones? What? Then you won't hear the humming. How does that help? It'll get you off my back. This would never happen with Frank Gay. But you didn't call Frank Gay. No, but I'm calling them now. 
When you have an electrical problem, you need help now. A helpful operator to guide you, qualified electricians to diagnose and repair your electric panel, and keep it safe and functional. That's the Frank Gay way. Wish I'd called Frank Gay in the first place. Sorry, can't hear you. I'm wearing my noise-canceling headphones. That's the Frank Gay way. Frankgayservices.com. People think Florida is salty because most of our state is surrounded by salt water. But it's the other states that are salty. Why? Because we get to enjoy McDonald's breakfast bagels year-round. You see, most parts of the country aren't as lucky as us and can't wake up to a steak, egg, and cheese bagel with a tender, juicy steak patty and savory grilled onions. Or a sausage, egg, and cheese bagel with a sizzling hot pork sausage patty. Or a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel with thick-cut applewood smoked bacon. Enjoy savory breakfast bagels only at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba at participating McDonald's. When you're eating McDonald's Spicy Chicken McNuggets, take a moment to appreciate that they're back. And while you may be eager to reach for another McNugget, take a moment to let the spice settle. Because the lightly breaded tempura and blend of aged cayenne aren't just spicy, they're worth it. You can order ahead on the McDonald's app. ba da ba 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 but participate in McDonald's for a limited time. D app download and registration required. It's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal. Because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic, wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Mm, that's so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. Hey, baseball fans, did you know that Fubo has the most MLB games you can get without cable? That's right. Only Fubo has the broadcast networks and regional networks you need to watch your home team all year long. Out of market? Don't worry. Fubo has MLB TV, too. Watch on all your devices at home and on the go. Baseball season is finally here. Get Fubo today. Start streaming FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V.com. Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. This earful of Rail Radio is sponsored by R.C. Hill Mitsubishi, Highway 1792 in DeLand. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Lost 80s, playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Get back in time. Tina Turner, and more, all commercial-free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free? Never sounded so good. Discover the new Buick SUVs in stock now at orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Real. Now back to the most viral newsroom on planet Earth. This The latest Secret Shows subscriber. You can learn about uncensored Secret Shows, a new show dropping this weekend over at thenewsjunkie.com. You can't miss it right there on the homepage. So thanks to Bluefish. Um, getting all ready for Easter weekend. I don't know about you two. You, Sabrina, Celine, you guys got big plans for Easter weekend? He is Riz's. You doing anything? I'm going to go to my girlfriend's family's house Ooh, for some Easter nice. stuff. Okay. That's and that's... if I don't have a basket, I'm going to lose my mind. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Did you grow up with that? Did you grow up with, like, the little Easter basket your parents would set up and stuff? Oh, we did. Yeah. And it was, uh, it was something that was always, like, one, a tradition. But then we would, there was, like, a small moment. I don't think it lasted very long. Mm -hmm. Where they had, like, a terrifying Easter bunny show up. Oh, really? Yeah, like, not just the for house? the kids, but, like, they would have the <laughs> gathering, and then there would just be some crusty, terrifying, the devil's inside of them, Easter 
bunny show uh, up, and I, I said, the kids are screaming. We're going to stop this. I don't even really have to ask if C. Lane had a nice Easter because his uh, childhood was just uh, so Multiple blessed. baskets, I bet. Probably. One yeah. basket. I had one basket. How big was the basket? It was a normal size basket. You should get more than just candy in it, because I used to know kids that would get toys and stuff oh, in yeah. their Easter baskets. You usually got like a bathing suit because it's the beginning of summer. Some of their bathing, bathing toys here. Bathing there. suit. Interesting. Nah, I never got that. Yeah. There was one time that we were looking for eggs in the backyard, and then I yeah. found one. I was like, "This one's like not as decorated." And it turns out it was an actual egg that uh-huh. had been dropped <laughs> from a nest. Oh, really? And okay. it stunk. Oh, no yeah, good. I fully cracked it. You know, I thought for a long time that the Easter egg thing was like kind of when they tried to take the religion out of Christmas, that war on Christmas. You know, you've heard about that. I thought the Easter egg thing was like that and that they were trying to take away from religion on Easter. But it's not the Easter egg thing, like the egg and all that stuff goes way, 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 way back in the day. And I guess the egg, like the Easter egg that used to have when you were a kid. Uh, whether you had the actual egg inside of it or you had the plastic ones where people would put money or, like, candies and stuff inside. We did the hunt for the plastic ones with money or candy inside, but then we also would color hard-boiled eggs and have, like, mm-hmm. deviled eggs. Yeah. Yeah, it was, like, such a traditional thing. But the It's egg... kind of ironic to have deviled eggs for Easter. No. Hey, how does this make any sense? The egg is supposed to represent the empty tomb... When is Jesus it? was resurrected. And I'm like, but the egg isn't empty. There's always something in the egg. Candy. There's, there's like a, you know, there's an egg inside the egg, right? Like inside the shell or whatever. If that's supposed to be the tomb, are we just all grave robbers? Yes, kind of. And they used to make them red. And the red dye on the egg that you would make was supposed to be like Jesus's blood. And I, like, I, How did I, the I bunny thought, get involved? The bunny worked its way in when commercialism oh. started to happen. The bunny was like, oh, let's, let's see what else we could do here. Maybe we could bring a couple of Jews in. We could bring a couple of Muslims in. I mean, we could like bring all kinds of different religions all together with the bunny. Or like the atheists, they're hard to get, you know, real hard to, to try to get them involved in some of this stuff. But, yeah, all that stuff like, traces its uh, roots way back to actual religious things, which seems weird to me, but we do it. And I saw somebody who posted on Facebook, and they said, the way we should do this is we need to change it up. Inside the eggs Facebook. that we hide. Instagram, Twitter, y'all see this? We need to put pierogies, and that should be the treat for Easter. And I was like, I am pierogies. all for this. Pierogies up in the eggs for Easter? I'll and you don't find down. it, and six months later, you have a rotten pierogi? Way better than a rotten egg. The pierogi, even if it's rotten, you're just like, eh, no big deal. It's, it's all right. It's just potatoes. So good. Love me some. Uh, thank you to the Polish people out there, your ancestors who came up with this pierogi thing. After all those jokes, too. Love it. Yeah, they dealt with a lot of jokes. Some of them from my dad. I'm sorry for that. Wow. I apologize. Yeah. Russell. That I'm man. Telling the Polish jokes. I don't get it. I don't understand why there was hate at that time. Like, boomers have hate for uh, what they call Polacks. Oof, boy. They will, they'll be brutal to the Polish people. I don't understand. All the jokes were them be just being dumb, right? Yeah. yeah it was yeah, like yeah, screen yeah. doors in a submarine and, like, every other stupid thing ever. And, uh, like, why are you guys going after the Polish folks? I don't understand it. They have good food. They seem to be really hearty, cool people. I dig it. But I don't know. There was some real aggression there over the years, I guess. Uh, Before we get into this robot story, I'll tell you, we are going for Easter over to Courtney's family's place, and I'm going to do my best not to ruin the family gathering this year. I'm going to try to put Smile and Sean on. Good. Have you ruined more than one, or are you just referring to that one Thanksgiving? The one that I really ruined, the Thanksgiving, I think it still is an issue in the family. I think it's like still thought about. It would be an issue in mine. tell you that much. I think that they're they're still a little bit upset about it, which I don't blame them for. You know, I kind of they said, "What are you thankful for?" And I said, uh, "I'm thankful that we only have to do this once a year." Yay. And it just kind of like yay, yay, yay. brought the mood down. Uh, and I'm also trying just to be able to get around. I got I got foot problems, folks. I don't know, man. I got like I, I'm I'm a member of the Gout Boys. Oh, you I got, got the, gout, dude? I got the gout a little bit, and I... Are I don't you know sure why. it's gout? I mean, does a doctor 
like a doctor hasn't told this. me yet, uh, but this yeah. is uh, this, this is, has happened this to me. Happens, yeah. No, look, I'm um, this is one that I'm pretty sure on. I wish I wasn't. Uh, it's like uh, something that you inherit, right? It's just like something that your family delivers to you. And in my wish, you could have left genes. me more than just gout, Dad. <laughs> That's what I got. It's like, and it's very mysterious. Even like the leading experts have very little idea what the hell causes gout or what fixes it or what does anything to it. And you just end up hopping around like a loser because it gets at your feet, like the balls. As of opposed your feet. to just walking around like a loser. Hey. I don't walk around like a loser. I walk around like the coolest of cool guys. All right? I'll have you know. Yeah. That's right. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And I, I'm i just hoping that I can walk normally. Because it was almost better the other day. And then yesterday I woke up and I'm like, God, man, it's what's going on here? Going right on? back to it. So, gal boys, I feel you. Gary says fried foods and alcohol. Gary, you haven't read nearly as much as I have. It <laughs> doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Alcohol it's- did help, you know, if- a mutual friend of ours get rid of his gout. Some people say that, and there's people that say if you change your diet to or X, Y, or Z, off. but they have done studies. Like, cause I've read a bunch of studies on this now since I'm gout boy for life. Uh, unfortunately I've read studies where they say we've looked into like 20, 30,000 people. And we really are just throwing our hands up. We have no idea what to do with this other than just drink a lot of water. Drinking a lot of water seems to help. There's some medication that they could put you on. And I hate it because I don't want one of the worst things in life is not to be able to walk. I like walking. I like to walk. And then if you can't walk that well, you feel like uh, an invalid. It sucks. It's no good. Not not a good time. But I'm going to bustle through and hopefully we'll have a fantastic Easter. And I hope you as well have one. Uh, go over to the news and hit record on your first dispatch right now. Abraham on Twitch says, I'm effing dying that Sean self-diagnosed himself with the king rich people disease. It's not the rich people disease anymore. People, get with it. Oh, it used to be. a lot easy. No, easier. it's not just alcohol. Yeah. It's, it's a heritable thing, all right? Like, you can get this from your family members. And what happens is it used to be considered a rich people disease because they would say that overabundance of red meat or other expensive things in your diet was what you could attribute to having gout or like just excess of things, which would mean that you would be a rich person with a stable, you know, food and all kinds of alcohol coming into your life. But that's not what it is. It's, it's not that any longer, certainly. Uh, Win says eat more chicken. I eat a lot of chicken, man. I eat a lot okay, of chicken. So it's when not you that. say stuff like this, you know everyone's going to start giving you advice. So it's like, do you want it from the doctor? Or uh, the people that may be doctors that listen to the show. No, no, no. Look, I understand. Last time I went to the doctor, I it, my my foot was all screwed up, but I didn't uh, tell him about it because I said, let me just wait. And I'll probably, if it happens again, I'll probably have to get on some sort of medication because I don't want it to ever happen again. I want it to, to like cut off your stop. foot, dude. I like I don't want it to happen. Out of it. I don't want it to happen again because it, when it does, you you like have to think about everything differently. I want to be able to I'm like run. run. Oh. Yeah, I want to gallivant around the world. I like to do these things. I like to to pick, exercise. I know you guys don't ball. think I do. I want to be able to do these things. Of course. I know it seems funny, but I, I think do it's like it's a game changer if you lose a limb. Stuff that I'm you even take complete well, I mean part of a limb if you were to get your you know, foot cut off or toe even the big toe that yeah, allows well, you gout, to balance. Yeah, well, no, with gout you don't your foot you don't cut it off. It just is very very painful. That's what happens. You know, like, it's not gangrene. Until you have to cut it off, man. You don't have to cut it off. It's not, it's not a thing. Listen, hey, would it hurt if you cut it off? Like, it, Yes. No. It wouldn't yes. be there anymore. It too anymore, hurt. Yeah. And I, that's not how it works. Then I have one leg. I'm it not doing that. It rots and falls off. We didn't I, say the whole leg. Just to toe. I, I'm going to continue to try to make myself healthier. And then with the healthiness... And of some of the other things that I'm doing, I'll never have this again, right? You know, knock on wood. Hello, darkness, my old friend. That's your turn to you. And when we come back, we'll get into this robot story. And jury duty is on the way as well. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real radio. It, it, it is. The monsters in the morning. There's a look that he has that's that F boy look. And it, uh, you know, F-boy? The F stands for it. F. Oh. <laughs> so would Ryan be an F boy? No. no. Oh, how about me? Am I an F boy? No. no. Yeah, the F okay, you didn't for say fat. so quick, Angelique. But, uh, yeah. The monsters in the morning. Real radio 104.1. 
This is Katina Mobley. This is what's trending from iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Mercedes-Benz. Washington quarterback Michael Penix Jr. held his pro day on Thursday and wowed scouts. Penix showed off an excellent 4-4-6-40. If you told me Michael could give me three years of consistency in winning, I know he had college injuries. I take him, and a great majority of the league would as well. Michael Penix Jr. on a rookie deal in Seattle could be the best value you'll get in this NFL draft. I'm Colin Cowherd. The fully electric EQS sedan from Mercedes-Benz is innovation on a magnificent scale. Available with the epic 56-inch touch-sensitive hype screen, the vehicle is all electric. The feeling is all Mercedes. Learn more at mbusa.com slash EQS. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Don't miss the spectacular spring edition of Harry's Sip and Savor, April 6th, 6.30 p.m. at Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill, located in the Rosen Center Hotel at 9840 International Drive. Enjoy an exclusive pairing event with mixology, culinary arts, spirits, brews, and a dazzling menu available one night only. Seating is limited, so don't delay. Get your tickets now, available at harryspoolside.com slash harry's sip and savor. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. It's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic, wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Mm, wow, this is so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. You don't need a resolution to lose weight. You need a solution. And that's Red Mountain Weight Loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has full-strength semaglutide in their newest medication called Revelex. It's specifically formulated to provide full-strength semaglutide in a daily tablet. With Revelex, you lose up to 15 pounds a month. And it's not a shot, so you can skip the weekly trips to a doctor's office. But here's the best part. Revelex costs about half of what you'll pay for other semaglutide medications like Ozempic. That's right. I said half the price. Plus, Red Mountain includes medically supervised meal plans and free lifetime maintenance to help you keep the weight off. So why go anywhere else? At Red Mountain, you get no shots, just results for half the price. Trust the leader in medical weight loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has helped millions of people lose weight safely, and they can help you too. Go to RedMountainWeightLoss.com. That's RedMountainWeightLoss.com. Join Jim Colbert on the Jim Colbert Show for his Cigar of the Week segment every Friday afternoon at 345. You can pick up these featured cigars at all three Corona Cigar Company locations, Dr. Phillips, Heathrow, and downtown. Learn more at Coronacigar.com. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. It's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal. Because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic, wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Mm, wow, this is so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill. 
with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. Hey there, homeowners. Russ Rollins here. Are you tired of staring at a cold, unused pool? It's time to make a change. Spring is the perfect time to add solar heat to your pool and enjoy it year-round. Solar Source customers, they enjoy family time, nighttime pool parties, movie nights, birthdays, and even low-impact workouts. Don't let your pool be a monthly expense with no enjoyment. Schedule a free consultation from solarsource.com slash monsters. Remember, friends of Russ Rollins save even more money. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Today, we're the largest injury firm in the world, and I'm thankful to you for trusting us all these years. We'll always be here for the people, not the powerful. We'll always be here for you. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. If you ask anyone who's experienced LASIK, they will tell you it's the best thing they've ever done. And more often than not, they'll add, I should have done it sooner. So what are you waiting for? The Filatowski Eye Institute is offering free LASIK consultations. Just text 1041 to 868686 and start your journey to better vision with the the Filatowski Eye Institute. They've performed over 65,000 LASIK procedures using the latest state-of-the-art technology. If finances aren't concerned, they offer 24-month interest-free financing. Text 1041 to 868686 to schedule your free LASIK consultation at the Filatowski Eye Institute. Tax Talk with Straight Talk. You give and you give. This tax season, you get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get a reliable 5G network and unlimited data and a new Samsung Galaxy A15 for just $99. So you can give your janky phone to your kids. Yeah. Good talk. Switch to Straight Talk for plans starting as low as $25 a line per month for four lines. Find us at Walmart and StraightTalk.com. For network management practices, visit StraightTalk.com. Device offer ends 41424. In-store activation on single silver unlimited plan or higher required. Family plan discount with four lines all on the silver unlimited plan. Taxes and fees apply. HOA and condo board members. It pays to have fiber. Let Blue Stream Fiber show you how fiber internet provides revenue for communities while saving up to 50% off retail rates. Visit BlueStreamFiber.com slash radio to find out more. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Documenting and contributing to the decline in American culture. Find out the latest with Diddy and the guy apparently had hidden cameras in every single room at his house, if this story is to be believed. But we'll crack that one open in just a moment here. Real quick, though, you've heard me talk about robots on this show because uh, robots are frightening. AI combined with robots combined with weaponry is incredibly frightening. And that's where we are. And the biggest immediate threat from any of this is AI just straight up taking people's jobs. And we're watching that happen one day at a time here. One of the jobs that has been stolen by these damn robots, thanks to the uh, freaks over at Boston Dynamics, is police officer. They have now, in some of these different cities, hired these Boston Dynamics robot dogs to be cops, to do different things that they don't want actual cops to do. And this says the Massachusetts State Police claim one of the members of their bomb squad has gone above and beyond in the line of duty and taken bullets for the team. However, the officer in question is not a human or even a canine, but Roscoe, the police's specialized robot created by Boston Dynamics. All right, question. Mm -hmm. If I shoot Roscoe, yep. is it more of a charge because it's a, it's a police robot? I don't know. It would be if it was a real dog, right? Yes, correct. But it's, it's not, though. It says... The Boston Dynamics Spot Robot, accompanied by the department's bomb squad in early mar March, responded to a situation involving an armed barricaded suspect. Roscoe was sent into a home with two PackBot 510s, often used for bomb disposal and reconnaissance. My favorite to model. The, the suspect, the PackBot 510s are good, I guess. Roscoe, which was operated by a human trooper via remote control, was first sent to clear the top two floors of the home. The robot dog allegedly ran into trouble when it went down to inspect the basement where it encountered the suspect armed with a rifle. Police say the suspect proceeded to knock the robot down and start climbing the stairs. He was apparently unaware that the robot could pick itself back up and followed him. The chumbawamba of robot dogs. Uh-huh. Got back up again. 
They said when the suspect realized, with apparent surprise, that Roscoe was behind him on the stairs, he again knocked the robot over and raised his rifle in Roscoe's direction. That was probably blowing his mind, right? Yeah. Like, he what started, the hell? Like, what? This is not how it used to be, man. And he just starts shooting the robo dog and firing off at him. And it says, when the suspect realized with apparent surprise, he opened fire. He wasn't the only robot shot at. The suspect also attempted to shoot one of the PackBot 510s, but missed. And then they tear gassed the dude and he turned himself in afterwards. They sent him back to Boston Dynamics riddled with bullets. And Boston Dynamics sent them a brand new one, for God's sake. Because, I don't know. Good press or something like that. That's what they uh, decided they were going to do. Brand new Roscoe arriving for the police force. Unbelievable world we're living in, friends. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Let's do jury duty. Court is now in session. So put your phone down and pay attention. Before we call the bailiff over to whip your ass, you're now on jury duty with the news junkie. Jury duty brought to you by the one. The only Mo DeWitt of the DeWitt Law Firm. Injured on the go? Just call Mo. 866-CALL-MO. 866-CALL-MO. Or go to justcallmo.com. After an accident. It's all these attorneys out there. But you're smart. You're going to make the right decision. You know that there's one attorney who's not just going to settle based on a spreadsheet or some sort of uh, you know math problem. Some sort of algorithm that tells him that your case is done with. It's time to settle. No, he's going to do this by listening to you, fighting for you, and being the person that you need to help carry you across the finish line here. Protect yourself, your family, and your future. 866-CALL-MO or go to justcallmo.com. Uh, Diddy continues to have all this bad news swirling around him. It's hard to predict what's going to happen next. His attorneys are get going on the defensive his attorneys are suggesting like, hey, not been charged with anything yet. They said the spotlight is intensified on Sean Diddy Combs and his freak off parties freak that off. were apparently oh. going on at his house. Yeah, That's the freak fun. off party. And they said he has been accused of fitting his home with multiple hidden cameras and then using the footage to allegedly blackmail party attendees. According to court documents filed by Diddy's former employee, Rodney Lil Rod Jones, the rapper reported oh, that's the song. thirty million dollar one. Yeah, this is the guy who says that he was like uh, attacked and abused, and all sorts of things happened to him. He says that there were hidden cameras in the properties in L.A. and on Star Island. The cameras supposedly captured alleged disturbing footage of his guests, including celebrities, athletes, politicians, international dignitaries, and music label executives. And that sex. whole choir, remember? Drugs and even a choir, yes, uh, all involved in this. If you believe any of these so stories, he says to a bunch of people, "Hey, I got cameras everywhere, and I'm going to use this as blackmail." Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that only work once? Like, <sighs> uh, then everybody just knows he has cameras everywhere and doesn't do anything bad in his house. You would think that, and What's like, that as around? far as blackmail goes, like if they're doing something illegal, perhaps like some with somebody underage. That also incriminates Puff Daddy, does it? Yeah, because well, he would be kind of saying, well, this is through the lawsuit, but it would be kind of saying, like, you were blackmailing people. And maybe at this point, you might want that info out there. If everybody's going after him, he's like, oh, yeah, you guys better shut your mouth. You don't know what I captured on video. Even if he doesn't have cameras all throughout his house, just say you have cameras all throughout your house. Scare everybody into not piling on right now. When you're in a world of trouble, some people saying he's done, it's over, his career is toast. Others saying eh, it's not necessarily the case right now. He'll be able to make it through this. Nobody knows just yet. It's just going to be a matter of waiting and seeing what happens next. But it doesn't look great for him at the moment. When we come back, a woman is highlighted by the news for just being an overall amazing person. And a business owner who's kicking ass out there, despite some of the things going on in her world, what's happening? Well, we're going to talk to her, I believe. She will be coming up next on the News Junkie. It's like a text message with your voice. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. GoldsmithJewelry.com. 
All lanes are blocked on Silver Star Road, westbound approaching Pine Hills Road. There's bumper-to-bumper traffic due to an accident on Florida's Turnpike, northbound approaching I-75. Expect to lay southbound on Florida's Turnpike due to an accident between Osceola Parkway and approaching exit 240. If you see traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Looking for a premium oil change? Drive into Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Stay in your car and be back on the road in about 15 minutes. Our expert technicians use premium products for top-notch vehicle care. Quick, easy, trusted. That's Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. It's the Nissan Thrill of the Tribe sales event at Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Score 0% financing on popular models like Rogue with no payments till 2025. And close out pricing on remaining 2023s. Rush to Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Click OrlandoNissan.com. Home of the lifetime warranty. See dealer for details. Sunnyside Air Conditioning. Uh, yes, I need a new air conditioner. Do you... For a list of things we do, press 1. I just want to know if you install new air con... For a list of things we don't do, press 5. Why would I want a list of things you don't... To save us time explaining it to you. Well, I'd hate to waste your time. So if you'll just press 5, I'll give you a list of what we don't do. Right. Which is a lot. You know, this would never happen with Frank Gay. If you'd called Frank Gay, you'd probably be talking to a person by now. That would be nice. But we're more efficient. Amazing the time we save ourselves by making customers press buttons and talk to robots all day. I'm calling Frank Gay. When you need a new air conditioner, you need it done right. A helpful operator to make it easy. And your new AC installed fast. That's the Frank Gay way. Are you sure you don't want to hear the list of things we don't do? Our list is much longer than Frank Gay's list. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com. People think Florida is salty because most of our state is surrounded by salt water. But it's the other states that are salty. Why? Because we get to enjoy McDonald's breakfast bagels year-round. You see, most parts of the country aren't as lucky as us and can't wake up to a steak, egg, and cheese bagel with a tender, juicy steak patty and savory grilled onions. Or a sausage, egg, and cheese bagel with a sizzling hot pork sausage patty. Or a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel with thick-cut applewood smoked bacon. Enjoy savory breakfast bagels only at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba. At participating McDonald's. When you're eating McDonald's spicy chicken McNuggets, take a moment to appreciate that they're back. And while you may be eager to reach for another McNugget, take a moment to let the spice settle. Because the lightly breaded tempura and blend of aged cayenne aren't just spicy, they're worth it. You can order ahead on the McDonald's app. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. But participate in McDonald's for a limited time. McD app download and registration required. I'm still going for it, even with higher stroke risk from atrial fibrillation and a regular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. Over a three-year study, Eliquis Apixaban tablets reduced stroke risk better than warfarin. And over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. A first stroke occurred in 2.9% of warfarin patients versus 2.3% of Eliquis patients. Don't stop taking prescription Eliquis without asking your doctor. It may increase your stroke risk. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve, abnormal bleeding, or antiphospholipid syndrome. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. A spinal injection while on Eliquis increases risk of blood clots, which may cause paralysis, the inability to move. Get medical help right away for unexpected bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling, numbness, or muscle weakness. Medications such as aspirin products, NSAIDs, SSRIs, SNRIs, and blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. 
Learn more at Eloquist.com or call 1-855-ELOQUIST. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1, Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. High diving face first into the world's most viral newsroom. And we appreciate you. We love you. Thanks for hanging out with us, as always. If you miss any of the show, you can go to thenewsjunkie.com, and you can uh, get the podcast right there. All the links that you need are ready for you at your fingertips over on the website. Uh, I saw this story. In fact, I saw it on Yahoo and a couple of other places, including News Nation Now, which is one of the cable news upstarts, where they were talking about this woman by the name of Heather Martins, and she is with us right now. Uh, Heather, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. I'm on my son's Zoom. All right, there you go. All right, we got Heather with us, and Heather Martins is the subject of this story uh, because despite some of the stuff she's fought through in her life, she is the world's greatest, c and Sabrina. All right, absolute top-notch, world's goat. greatest Blind barista and bartender. Oh, okay. Right. On planet Earth, numero uno. Is fascinating. Nobody better. And uh, let's start with this, Heather. Can you tell me what this Stargardt disease is? I've never heard of this before. What what uh, what does that entail? Uh-oh. Is she on a delay? <laughs> She's still there. Is he talking to me? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. We might have we lost her. Uh, hey, can you girl. hear us, Heather? I can't tell if you're talking to me or what. All right. See, let's put them on hold. It's not, it's not where we got a connection issue at the moment. But That's I bet fine. The coffee is delish. It must be. Yeah. It says, she's, it says she's been diagnosed with Stargardt disease, and she learned in freshman year of high school that she had this. But she said she still wanted to, like, launch her own business, and she wanted to be a barista. So she continued on through despite that. Let me give and, it a quick Googs, see if I can uh, find anything on Star Star. star you know, look, look, up, look up Blind Barista Coffee Till Cocktails, which sounds like a good time. Uh, and there's all these articles this week out there highlighting her. I wanted to have a chat with her, but it doesn't look like we're – we got an audio connection going for some reason, which is unfortunate. But uh, maybe next time. <laughs> she just <laughs> dropped off. <laughs> she did. Oh. And she, we were like right at the last See minute, ya. she scooped in. And she was like, hey, can you hear me? Oh, we're like, oh, perfect. We hear you. Everything's working out here. Um, anyhow. The other thing about that, though. I blame her, blame her son. Sean did yeah. not. Uh, give me any indication that this person is blind. So oh, I'm yeah. just, I'm, I'm just uh, like, uh, no idea. Going in here, you know, raw as hell. Like, uh, and then you go in, ma'am. Can you hear me? <laughs> can you or Tyler hear me? <laughs> she can hear you. She's not deaf. She was. It's just she's blind. And she well, she said stopped when I, being able to hear us. Well, well, that's a technical issue. That was something technical that went went happening there. Uh, somebody who is but, I mean, in if family. I, if I, if you had told me that this is the, this is the person. Who doesn't use a whole lot of Zoom? I might have approached it in a different manner. 
Uh huh. Well, I, I don't think you have to approach it any differently. She could still hear everything. We could have made just, whatever faces we wanted. She, she couldn't technically hear us. And just for the record, when I reached out to her, she was like, "Oh my God, I have a friend who lives in the area and listens to the show." Oh, and she was like, <laughs> "Just want to throw that out there, so you guys are are fully aware of what's uh, happening here." Okay. Uh, she seems well, she can very call very the station. Nice. We can do that. Yeah, I'm, we're going to have to just scuttle along here, unfortunately. But I'll tell you about her real quick. It says, being diagnosed with Stargardt disease in freshman year of high school, Heather Martins didn't let her vision quality dictate how she would live. Bringing coffee, a positive attitude, and inspiration throughout Topeka, Kansas, Martins exemplifies what it means to be a remarkable woman. And this is not the first time she's been shouted out. If you look up her name, you'll see all sorts of people talking about how her business is, like, hugely successful, despite the fact that she's one of the world's few blind baristas and bartenders. And they said she's spoken at conventions with uh, for, for people with disabilities, including at the Kansas School for the Blind. And uh, so shouts out to her. So Keep doing a great job. Stargard disease, rare genetic eye disease that happens when fatty material builds up on the macula. Really? And that is the retina, uh, the small part of the retina needed for sharp central vision. Vision loss usually starts in childhood, but some people with Stargardt disease don't start to lose their vision until they're adults, which I'm sure is a complete mind F. Yeah. Which one of those would you want if given the opportunity? Let me, opportunity let me, uh, is a loose word. Um, if, Have if we presented... got an opportunity for you? Well, follow me on this before you both crap all over it. If you were going to be born blind or if you would have to lose your sight over some course of time uh, born blind for sure really lose, yes lose sight over time me too i yeah i'm with sabrina because i would want to know what things look like you know because then if i lost my sight over time i mean deep depression would you yeah uh, i mean i probably i imagine if you lost anything after having it yeah but, yeah sight's very important to you obviously so like number one but you are in a complete darkness right after mm -hmm. you know even if um you're in a situation god this is not comparable whatsoever yeah but but but, but. as i was getting my makeup done for just okay eight uh -huh. i was also trying to finish with the last things as far as we, what we had to do in preparation so you were basically blind and i had to close my eyes the whole time but because <laughs> i knew what everything felt like and where it was i was able to continue that work while getting my beautiful eyeshadow done oh okay. and it's because so, i had sight ahead of time man uh, i so wish that heather was still on the line for that story <laughs> You guys want to do a relatable story? I Look, I'm with you. That's why I don't I, share things, because you make me feel like a dick. No, I'm with you. I agree that I would rather have the vision at some point so I knew what things looked like. And no. I could feel around. Do you ever try to like go in a bag where you, you can't see it because you're driving? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. because you have the vision beforehand. That's what would happen if you lost your vision, but at least you have like the experience of that vision. And Yes, feel. I would rather never know what I was missing. Why? Because I don't understand that at all. Like you wouldn't. Yeah. You, okay, so let me put this. So, so, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me make this very, whoa, whoa, very whoa. personal. Let me make this very, very personal. You would rather never have seen your wife and son than see them for a limited amount of time and then lose your vision. Probably. You sure about that? <laughs> you sure know, about that? <laughs> never having said. Oh, is your argument going to be that? I would be missing just how beautiful it was instead of not knowing how beautiful. What what, what are you going with? It would be better to never have seen because anything. if I if I've never seen anything, then I I don't I don't a hundred percent. I'm ne I'll never know what I'm missing. But going from thirty seven years of seeing everything mm -hmm. to getting some degenerative disease that erases my sight, and now I have to learn to be blind. Yeah. I, it's hard for me to not say F that like right now, like to not say the full word. Look, I told you, I told you um, my blind DJ boss that I've talked oh, yeah. about a lot on the show. Keith is his name and Keith is a very great guy. And uh, in West Palm is like a DJ and a entertainment booker. And he uh, over time lost his vision and he still was able to do some stuff like, you know, he could still walk around and everything. MC, his vision, obviously. 
you can see when you say blind, everybody thinks pitch black. It's not always pitch black. It just means like he was beyond legally blind. Like he didn't know if somebody was in front of him talking to him. He just had a very, very limited uh, field of vision. And he one time was called over by some neighbors or friends or whatever. And I think I might've mentioned this before in the show, but this plays right into what we're saying here. And they said, Hey, Keith, we need your help. And he's like, what, what's going on? And they said, uh, we got this young kid and he was hit in the eye with a dart. Oh, and now he's lost. I I think so. Now he's lost his vision in this eye. That's horrible. And being somebody who's dealt with being vision impaired, we wondered if you could like help him out and sort of. And Keith tell was like, him, "Hell no, dude! He could figure it out. I did." No, he did. He, like, I'd be he, like, "F that kid! He can still see out of one eye." <laughs> he's, but he still he needed to adjust to the idea that he couldn't see everything that was around him like he was able to before. And so he went over and like mentored this poor kid. And I, I I remember thinking about it at that time, like, oh, my God, even to lose vision out of one eye would be so difficult and so easy yeah. to just say. Really mess uh, with your depth perception. Yeah, of course. Right, you think, I don't think, uh, I don't know, I've never tried to just do this with one eye. Do you think if you lost vision in one eye, mm-hmm. could you see those those magic eye pictures? The stereogram? I have no idea. <laughs> I do I not know. know you, should Sean, that, you, you couldn't, though, right? that kid. Because of color? <laughs> I uh, no, I, I couldn't see those. I don't think uh, being colorblind affects those. Maybe it does, but I didn't remember or I don't recall that being an issue. I just could never make it happen. When you stared at those three D things, you know, do that thing with your eyeballs. I would often just fib. You got to like look oh. through them. Biggest thing. Yeah. Our discussion so far would it have been extremely inappropriate to ask these to Heather, or it would have been pretty cool. It would have been interesting, I think. But thankfully, we don't have to. She was worry online the whole that. time. Imagine if her friend that's listening, uh huh. Please give the apology on yeah. her end. Yeah, we're very impressed. We think she is up Tell to some her awesome son things. To update Zoom, please. Keep kicking ass with the uh, the whole barista business. And do you think and... her kid just gets away with murder? Oh, you th- oh man. She can hear got... murder. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, but like, yeah, but she can't hear a stack of pornos just on the nightstand. <laughs> I've thought about this before. I've uh, what? Uh, what? <laughs> I I knew somebody. Did I ever tell this story? I don't know if I did or not. Oh, I need did a I tell little story bit more about, details. Did I tell the story about the girl I knew with a blind dad? Mm. Uh, did you do her? Go on. No, no, I did. No. <laughs> right in I, front of the what, dad. What if? What if? Just to make you uncomfortable, she just started. Uh, hmm. Dance? An old H-H-M? fashioned. Yeah, an, yeah. Old, an old fashioned. Ah. Right, right. So, I'm a vampire. When we, when, we, when we met this girl, she was like, you know, my name is Blank, and uh, I, you know, my father is, is blind. He can't see anything. Because he couldn't write down the name on the birth certificate. And I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I remember right off the bat being like, I wonder if she ever does stuff. Oh my god! Immediately. Yeah, yeah. I was like, if, like if you were dating her, it wouldn't matter who was in the room. Like if it wouldn't okay, matter but, if her dad was in the room. But that's so weird. It, I understand, it but I'm a person, curious like person. Her. I get that you like you couldn't see it, but first of all, to have that complete silence is I don't know reflection of the partner, and then also the idea that wait, wait, wait. What do you there, mean by that? What do you mean by that? That you can go in complete silence, like there's well, you not have even a, to. It would be oh, part of the thing, or go it would somewhere be like, else. You could sneak out of the room. I'd rather that do that. Would, but that would be why it was exciting. Yeah, I don't know have, because your parent is there. That's weird. Yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> it's not your parent. Yeah, it's just, it just parent. happens to be. <laughs> it's weird. To be, all right, take the parent out of it. What if you were with somebody and they had a roommate who was completely blind? Oh yeah, you wouldn't ever. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Well, All of a sudden. different than parents. <laughs> Let's be perfectly clear. All right. You never started up something while somebody was on the phone? <laughs> I don't want to answer that. Oh, see? <laughs> okay, but on the phone is different than uh, the physical but there's being there's still a challenge. A still a challenge uh-huh. of the person on the phone having to uh, silence themselves. Yeah. And hold back from any sort of indication that they're currently like, ooh, receiving. Ooh, ooh. You know, remember the OTPHJ? Yeah, that our good friend received. 
Wait, where was this? This was on the uh, ride back from being picked up of uh, oh. drunk history. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Who picked us up? My mother. Oh, wow. All and right. then I turn around and be like, how's everyone doing? Oh, my God. <laughs> what is it? Nothing. Uh, they're going, they're just being silly back did, there. Did your mother ever find out what happened back there? She doesn't listen to the show anymore, so. <laughs> Perfect, um, good. Needed another segment without her finding for, out. For once, we're better off for, for this. She's better off not hearing that story, I think. So thank Anyhow, you again, Heather. Congrats to Heather. <laughs> 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 the only person who wasn't here for this conversation <laughs> about her. All right. Um, we... <laughs> of all the weeks to really get to the line there. One of almost... the better interviews we've done, honestly. <laughs> you know, one of, one of the better ones. Quick break. When we come back, we'll, if we do. <laughs> we'll get to you and your dispatches. Those are coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. There's a whole bunch of commotion this afternoon. All lanes are blocked on Silver Star Road, eastbound and westbound at Pine Hills Road, and on Pine Hills Road, northbound and southbound. All lanes are blocked between Colonial Drive and Silver Star Road. Bumper-to-bumper traffic on Florida's Turnpike northbound due to an accident approaching I-75. Stop-and-go traffic southbound on Florida's Turnpike between Osceola Parkway and exit 244. If you see traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Looking for a premium oil change? Drive into Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Stay in your car and be back on the road in about 15 minutes. Our expert technicians use premium products for top-notch vehicle care. Quick, easy, trusted. That's Valvoline Instant Oil Change. One of my favorite things about that mortgage guy, Don, is the fact that he's part of the Real Radio family. Each Saturday morning, you can listen to the Home Loans Radio Show on 104.1 and 96.9. He's answering your questions live on the air. He's pulling back the curtain on the mortgage business. He's explaining the real mortgage process to you because he has your best interests in mind. There's peace of mind at your fingertips if you go to thatmortgageguydon.com and know that you have someone who is looking out for you. Go to thatmortgageguydon.com. This year full of Real Radio is sponsored by Wasi's Meat Market, the best place to buy a big green egg. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Otensla Alternalast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Frank Gay has something cool for you. Keep your AC running smoothly with a tune-up for only $89 for a limited time. Friendly, speedy, and expert service. That's the Frank Gay way. Visit frankgayservices.com or call for details. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Hi, welcome to Ikea and our spring storage event. Oh, hi. Save big on storage with lots of new lower prices and limited time offers. Perfect. I'm making the winter to spring swap, and I have no idea where to put my sweaters and gloves. <laughs> we can help you get organized and store winter away. And we've got in-store events for more inspiration. Sign me up. Visit us in-store from 320 to 49 or at ikea-usa.com slash ikea spring storage for more details. 
Offer valid dates may vary. U.S. only while supplies last. Selection may vary by store and online. See store at ikea-usa.com slash ikea spring storage for complete terms. Restrictions apply. You do everything you can for your family. A nice home, good food, family fun, and the right medical care. You plan ahead for your kids' future and their education. That's all great, unless something unexpected happens to you. If you were to die, who would pay the mortgage and all the other bills? Would your family have to sell their home just to survive? That's why you need to call Term Provider for the lowest rates available on quality term life policies, period. Rates for term life are at all-time lows, and Term Provider could save you 50, 60, even 70%. Already have coverage? Call and see if you're paying too much. Term Provider could save you thousands. And if your health isn't perfect, Perfect, even more reason to call. We'll match you with the right policy even if you have weight issues like diabetes or high blood pressure. Right now, your family's protected. Make sure that protection continues if something unexpected happens to you. Call for a free quote and see if you can save up to 70%. Call 800-511-3535 now. That's 800-511-3535. 800-511-3535. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. Together, we're Anajar and Levine. If you've been hurt in a car crash, we'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call Anajar and Levine for your free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. In Office Orlando. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Nothing adds crunch to a salad quite like a fresh bell pepper. If the bell peppers you're buying don't sound like this, then they're not fresh from Florida. Florida bell peppers are grown right here in the Sunshine State by our hardworking local farmers. That means they're fresher, crisper, and have a way better... Bell peppers are in season now. So look for the Fresh from Florida logo or ask for it by name where you shop. Fresh from Florida, there's sunshine in every... It's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Mm, wow, so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. It's draft season. The 2024 NFL draft is right around the corner, and the Move the Sticks podcast has you covered for all your draft needs. The show is hosted by me, Daniel Jeremiah, and my partner, Bucky Brooks. When it comes to Detroit and the draft, Move the Sticks is the podcast that will answer all your questions. Which quarterbacks are going in the first round? Don't worry. Tune in, and you'll be ready to watch the draft like a scout. Subscribe now and listen to the Move the Sticks podcast on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. We are professional grade at Orange Buick GMC. Online at orangebuickgmc.com. On the bright side, we're not dead. Tips at the newsjunkie.com. Multiple emails coming in from the blind barista uh, during the interview that was not happening for us there. She says, I've been on the whole time. I'm so confused. Laughing emoji. 
Uh, then she says, I tried talking, but I don't think you guys could hear or something. Who knows? Real life blind people problems, I guess, she says. LOL. Wow. And stride then. <laughs> Thank she you. says, she goes, definitely strange. That's for sure. I was on the whole time. Well, we'll talk to you next time. She says, so she was oh, there good for her <laughs> through the entire conversation that we just had. <laughs> so, I'm not sure how she feels about it, but uh, she seems like she's having a good time. So there goes that. Where is her uh, coffee place? Uh, it is in Kansas. Oh. That's where, yeah, this is a blind barista inspires throughout Kansas was the story. Uh, let's go over to you. Let's work in some dispatches. We haven't done enough of these today, and it's about damn time we do, all right? Here goes nothing. Here is A-Train Project Fit with a dispatch. All righty. Sean, you probably don't have gout, dude. You probably got plantar fasciitis, you know, for the longest time. You know, I thought it was gout too. I uh, went to the doctor, had my you know doctor check on you know levels and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh-huh. Check my feet out. And, got them feet crystals. Uh, determined Ew. that uh, it was in fact not gout, but it was plantar fasciitis uh, due to wearing non-supportive shoes. Uh, you're probably a Croc guy, so I'm not uh, a Croc guy. Number one, okay? I don't wear Crocs. I've never had a pair of Crocs on in my entire life. Number one. Number two. I think my feet are sort of, they're not flat, but they don't have like the most the robust, yeah, like that arch, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't have that very well okay, or very good. The crystals you mentioned just a few moments ago. Yeah, that's what, that's gout, what gout is. is. Okay, but do you have crystals? I think so. I mean, I like, because the weirdest thing about if your foot is all screwed up, <laughs> You will be unable to walk. You'll be, like, on the ground rolling around in pain because that's how bad your foot hurts. But you can still, if you walk, you can walk right through it, and it doesn't make it worse the next day, which that makes no sense. That's the weirdest thing in the world to me. If you if you have a busted ankle, like you have a sprained ankle, and then you just walk 10 miles on it, you're doing actual damage. You're right. making right. it worse. A lot of people you're... with like ACL damage uh, mm-hmm. will try to walk it off and end up doing more permanent damage in the long run. Yeah. My uh, little sister got very much into, I guess, like foot health re- yeah. in the recent years. Really? And like does, um, you know, like the toe spacers mm-hmm. and uh, as far as like the the shoes that are very particular to help mm-hmm. out and that... You know, because whatever you're doing wrong with your feet will then something wrong with your knees and then your hips oh, yeah. and your back. And so I'm totally inspired by it. And I was like, yeah, for Christmas, I'll give me a shoe that I should get, especially with, you know, long, uh, long walks, what have you. Right. And I. She gave me a pair of shoes and they are so ugly. <laughs> oh, like, no. What's what's the matter with them? They look like clown shoes. Like, it, it, despite the, from the side, it looks like your standard sneaker. Uh-huh. But then you look down, and it, like, goes, it goes out like a clown shoe. Like, it's, like, uh-huh. a big, enough space for all of your toes to have enough room instead of being, like, bunched together. And I'm like, I can't wear these. Wait, I are these? I can't wear them at all. Do you know what they're called? Um, they're not on clouds, are they? I don't know. Not like slippers. No, look, look up this. Google Google on cloud shoes. On cloud. I don't know if those are them, but these are ones that somebody told me about one time, and they were like, "Oh, you got to get these shoes." And I looked at them, and I was like, "What in the hell are these things?" No. This is, no, this is a weird, <laughs> weird ass looking shoe. They look like old school step ups from Sketcher. Yeah. So it's- no, these like from the side, the side view. Totally normal. But from up top, or if you really give it a good look, like, think about your clown shoe. Where mm-hmm. it's the heel and the middle of your foot is normal, and then it has, like, that big round big toe. Old bulbous that's what, top that's of That's what it. they look like. But it's like, this is really good for your feet. This is the uh, best shoe for you. And I'm like, thank you so much. No, I don't know if I can wear them ever. I don't know if I can either. ridiculous. Yeah, that's the problem we got here. Somebody told me about yeah, the on-cloud ones and then a couple other kinds. And... My shoes are nice. I love my shoes. I, and all this is like so it's like either here or there. Uh, either I wake up and I'm like, bam, I'm good to go, or all of a sudden you're not. And, and you have to just kind of try to figure out what's going on. So that's been a giant pain in the ass. But here's Top Cat with a dispatch. Hey, news junkies. This is the first time I've ever called in. The Easter egg is red because Mary Magdalene went to see Augustus Caesar 
to complain about the crucifixion of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And after she told her story, Augustus said that if that was true, this egg would turn red. And she picked up an egg in her hand, and the egg turned red. Whoa. All right. That's not what I had heard about this. Crack it open and eat it with some toast? I just, uh, I thought, like, you have Easter religious stuff, and then you have Easter, like, Easter egg, Easter bunny, and those things aren't religious. The, The Easter egg stuff is still religious. It actually is. Um, here's, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to play that dispatch just because of the description. What's the description? Here's, it's from Ellie Ridgeway. I can't even say what the description Do is. Do the but dance, man. Come on. It says, first time J.I. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, dispatching. So I'm just going to leave that right there. Sorry, you, you frightened me here. Here's uh, TNT with a question. What's going on, Junkies? Hope hey. all is well on this uh, lovely Good Friday. You as well. I'm listening to yesterday's podcast, and I just had to pause it. Mm-hmm. Sean, you mean to tell me out of the 73 years that you've been on this earth... Not 73! Not once, or at least occasionally... You turn around and check out your deuce. No, I don't. I don't do that. It's not something I make a habit of doing. And I'm not going to do it. Your whole life? Not one time. No. When I was like a foot long. I may have. (laughs) What did you think? I just feel that something strange has happened and just have to take a look at it. I didn't feel one break during that whole thing. And then you turn Uh, around, it's like, that was in my body. I, if I see something That's inadvertently, when you need the knife. Uh, <laughs> get the blue knife. That's so disgusting. It's so All right. gross. My friend I, in high school, my friend is Matt. Is it the weekend yet? Yeah. So fr- close. My friend Matt used to take pictures of ones that he was proud of. But this was, this was, it wasn't a digital camera thing for him. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he really liked it to, to do, like, if he, he went for a roll of film, he would, like, hide one of the doo-doo pics in <laughs> A stack of pictures. So they'd be like, oh, yeah, man, check out these pictures from uh, last weekend. We went to the beach. They came out really well. And he would just sit there and wait for you to get to the turd picture. Like, ah, I got you. You looked at my turd. I got the shoes you were talking about, the Bobo shoes, Sabrina. They don't look too bad. But, I mean, I don't know that I'd be wearing them. All right. You know what they look like? They look like they would be expensive at the same time. Oh, because not too bad. No, not too bad. Well, so it's a wide it, canvas. Witten is the name of the shoe. W H I T I N is uh, the type of shoe that she's talking about. And good for you, but makes you look real silly on the <laughs> way there. Uh, all right, let's go back to you and your dispatch because we have time for a couple more here. Here's a Guitar Slinger talking about lamb fries right here. I knew what lamb fries were immediately when you brought them up. I did Because there was a movie, I think it was back in the 80s or early 90s, with Chevy Chase and a famous lady star called Funny Farm. Okay, I remember Funny Farm for sure. That I'm familiar with. And they were fish out of water, big city people that moved to a small farm community. And the first day they were there, he thought he'd break the town record for eating lamb fries <laughs> with, of course, not knowing what they really were. But look it up. Yeah. I've never tried that. Have you guys ever had any kind of, like, uh, testicle food like that? No. I've never tried it. I went to him in college. Yeah. It's not for me. I don't want to eat random parts of animals. I don't want to eat brains for one. That's, like, but number one of my don't eat. made of human flesh. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Okay. And I'm, I, I know, like, saying you don't want to eat certain things and then saying you would, like, try humans seems weird. But it's not. I don't think it's weird. I think I would try a lot of things. But I don't want to eat brain because I feel like the memories come along with it. And I don't know, like it's, uh, that's weird. What's weird? What's funny about that? It's a brain. Eating the brain feels like where's I the memories going? It depends to eat. what side of the brain you eat. <laughs> the I, whole I, thing. I can understand not wanting to eat a brain because of the texture or because it grosses you out or because it's weird. But the, the specific reason of the memories are in there. We have to go somewhere, don't they? Where the memories go? I don't know. I think this is a legitimate question. No, the the memories have to go somewhere. And if you eat them and they go into you, then that would be so odd and uncomfortable. And like, if you get somebody's heart, you get a transplant, a heart transplant. Don't you feel like a little piece of them comes with you somehow? I mean, when they have that big moment um, on the news. 
Uh-huh. And you meet the parents of the person whose heart you got. And they listen to your heartbeat and stuff. Yeah. Like, I feel like what I'm a little portion. What have you said no to meeting the parents? <laughs> it's, just... it's mine now. Mine. Uh, would Because uh, it would be so weird. No, but you get uh, like a bone marrow transplant and uh-huh. you could take on some of the... Like the characteristics of the person yeah, who donated, right? Your hair right? can get curlier if you got it from someone with curly hair. Your eyes can get lighter. Yeah, so I feel like the memories coming along with it doesn't seem that crazy. There's a recipe on Google for smoked lamb fries. Okay. Yeah. And the first ingredient says testicles. Just, it doesn't say... <laughs> Any testicles. How many testicles? It just says testicles. Some of them must be real of, big. the weirdest thing I've tried. I think it was oh, yeah. just like that kangaroo chili we had years ago. Yeah, that was fine. That's not like it doesn't seem like shockingly bad but, or but, anything. But have you had like something that would be considered as awful or O F F A L, like the the liver of something or um, possibly maybe uh, when I was younger, like sweetbreads? Oh, I've like, had some of that. Sweet stuff. Sweetbreads are good, but I don't feel like you have to worry about getting anything weird with those because it doesn't have the thoughts. It I doesn't have the I don't dreams. I've had any testicles though. I'll get you some. Yeah, yeah. You Look want on some? your chin. <laughs> that would mean uh-huh. it, would, it would be rather you difficult bet. for me to speak. <laughs> you bet your ass. Wait, if it's me, what does it say about me if you are speaking so clearly? Guys, it's 2024. It's a spectrum. It's you're you're uh, enunciating perfectly. As long as you guys perfectly. don't kiss a little bit afterwards. Oh, we've done that too. Well, I'm not some kind of gay. <laughs> Here is, uh, <laughs> here's Mike with the dispatch. Uh, th- oh, no, hold on. We did that one. Let's go over to John, the exterminator. So all that talk about Hiroshima and Nagasaki got me thinking. As uh, one does. There was that one guy who was unlucky enough to be in both cities when they both got bombed. He was either in Nagasaki or Hiroshima and going to work and survived the bombing there. Took a train to That's go to the hospital guy. in the other city. And then that city got bombed. I believe he got deemed as the most unlucky man to ever have lived. Uh, uh, and both. Ever? I'm pretty sure that's from Family Guy. Uh, you know who was less lucky? One oh. of those dudes that was just right under the bomb and just you know, <laughs> yeah. had their Son shadow good. burnt into the ground. I'd say. I'd say. Uh, real quick, I want to bring this up because there's a lot of buzz about this, and it is not good right now, about the new Amy Winehouse Back to Black movie. and. The quotes on this so far are, the makers of this film should be arrested, one person said. Oh. Another person said, I cannot believe it's true, but she got the part before anybody knew if she could even sing or hold the tune. And the the biopic of Amy Winehouse, which is ruined to me because they don't have the uh, rights to play the music. So you're going to do an Amy Winehouse oh, movie. Oh, my gosh. This is a Janis jo- jo- Joplin movie? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> from 30 Rock when uh, What's-Her-Face was supposed to play Janis Joplin, but they didn't have any of the rights to the song, and then they ended up losing the rights to her name. So the movie ended up being like the life of Janet Jopler, Jol- Jol- uh, Jol- Jolfer, oh, or something okay. like that. That was like the Celine Dion biopic yeah. that yes. they had, where yeah. it was like completely fake songs, but they just made it sound like it. And that ruins it, I think. And they said the woman, it's like, it's very bad. There's Jackie uh, Jump Jump. Jump, jump. <laughs> it said Amy Winehouse fans have been left divided by a clip from the new biopic of her life, as with some joking. Uh, hold on, as with some joking, the singing scenes are quote so offensive that criminal charges should be brought against the film's makers. Unquote. They said, okay. uh, and they don't know that this woman is able to sing anything. And the scene that I saw was very amateurish. Like, just looked. They tried to make me go to rehab. <laughs> yeah, it's not on tune, not on pitch. Is not that going to be nothing. streamed somewhere, or they're going to do a theatrical release? I feel like this one might be a direct to streaming kind of Lifetime, situation. For sure. Yeah, like really low rent. What do you think? Let us know. Go to thenewsjunkie.com and hit record on your first dispatch right now. When we return, uh, well, Final dispatches, stories that didn't make the cut. And today, learn to wrap everything up for a Friday. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is the Jim Colbert Show. It's like Christmas, but without the presents. Hey, we have trivia. The Jim Colbert Show. Weekdays at 3 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. 
Hey, Central Florida, I'm Fox 35. Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast. And for today, we're looking at a fabulous Friday. Temperatures will be on the warm but comfortable side, climbing into the mid to upper 70s across Central Florida with a high of 78 degrees in Orlando. Plenty of sunshine on the way for today, too. Make sure you grab your sunglasses for any sort of outdoor plans, and that will be the case through this weekend as well. Plan for highs in the low 80s for Saturday, mid 80s for Sunday. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Gatorland. Gatorland knows you need more animals, more gators, and more fun. And now, Florida residents get what they need for less with $17.50 admission. Now through the end of March, we know what y'all need. Y'all need Gatorland. Business owners, had enough of this yet? Are you just done and ready to retire? Is money tight? Or maybe business is at an all-time high. You have options. Don't just walk away. We can help you sell, retire, and just relax no matter what your situation is. Hi, I'm Andy Cagnetta, and at Transworld Business Advisors, we've been selling businesses for over 40 years. And with offices located around the world, we have thousands of buyers ready to buy your business now. Don't wait until the last minute or try to do it yourself. That is a recipe for disaster. Call for a confidential conversation about your business's current value and how Transworld can maximize your eventual selling price. We will help you win. And in the current climate, you need help to sell your business. Call Transworld at 833-SELL-FLA or visit tworld.com. That's 833 833- Sell FLA or visit tworld.com. $5,000. That's the average amount of money people in the U.S. are now spending on gas in a year. Five grand. That's crazy. If you drive, you have to download Upside, the free app that gives you cash back every time you get gas. That's right. You can earn real cash back with Upside just by buying the gas you're already buying. You can literally start earning cash back today. I use Upside every time I fill up, and I've already made around two, $300. You're putting gas in your car anyway. Why not get real cash back? If you like free money, download Upside. I'm saving the cash I earn from using Upside to help pay for a vacation later this year. Download the free Upside app now to earn cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code COOL to get an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first tank. You can cash out anytime right to your bank, PayPal, or a gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code Cool for a 25 cents per gallon bonus. Homeowners, are you ready to love your home again? Install Brick Paver can build eye-catching walkways, patios, or driveways. They can build custom fire pits for relaxing with your family. They even build outdoor kitchens and build retaining walls. Everything you need to create a perfect outdoor paradise. Install Brick Paver can do it with spectacular results. Go to InstallBrickPaver.com to see our amazing home makeovers. You can also get a free no-obligation quote for your outdoor project. Call for free information now. 407-337-4040. Call 407 407- 337 4040. Install Brick Paver is a family owned and operated company with over 20 years experience and fantastic Google reviews. We are Orlando's finest family owned paving experts. Fire pits, pool decks, paver driveways, patios, and hardscaping. Install Brick Paver does it all. Call for your free estimate now. Get in early before our spring schedule gets booked. Call 407 337 4040. That's 407 337 4040. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind. Whenever you hear the words, this call is being recorded, understand this is not for your benefit. In my experience representing thousands of clients over 25 years, I have seen insurance companies use these recordings to deny responsibility and avoid paying medical expenses. Let your attorney do your talking for you. Contact us at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 office Orlando. Cento Family Moving and Storage is Central Florida's trusted source for local and long distance moving. From packing to delivery, Cento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience so you can enjoy your new home in no time. Get a quote today at CentoMoving.com. Forget the stress, move with the best. When you buy a diamond at International Diamond Center, you can bring it back a year from now. Trade it up to a bigger one and get 110% of your original purchase price toward the new diamond. You pay me $10,000 for my diamond when 
you come back and you want to trade it up, you're going to get that $10,000. Plus, we're going to give you a bonus of $1,000. IDC owner Keith LeClaire talking about IDC's industry-leading diamond trade-up policy. So you're getting 110% on what you paid for that diamond. Who else does this? I'm going to pay you more for that diamond than you paid me in the beginning. The 110% upgrade is just another thing that separates IDC from the rest. We stand behind what we sell. We know what we're selling. We believe in what we're selling. And we know the inherent value of that diamond. At IDC, your trust means everything. We want you to feel that you can buy with confidence. International Diamond Center. Highest quality, insane selection, guaranteed best value, full transparency, and the strongest consumer protection warranties in the industry. Our job is to keep you as a customer. International Diamond Center. Four Orlando locations. Hey, what's good, guys? This is Angel from the Monsters. You guys know I love to cook on my big green egg. Why? It's impressive, and everything turns out great on the big green egg. If you don't have one, you got to go to Wasi's Meat Market and get a big green egg. They have the lowest prices in the country. They also have all the accessories, everything that you need. They have the classroom set up so you can teach you the basic techniques on the big green egg and advanced techniques on the big green egg as well. When you get the big green egg from Wasi's Meat Market, there's a lifetime guarantee, so check them out. It's Wasi's Meat Market. Check them on Instagram or go to their website, wasi'smeatmarket.com in Melbourne on Wickham Road. It's Wasi's Meat Market. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you right now. Like Lost 80s. Just search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. When good things go bad, bad things make headlines. This is... And today we're going to wrap everything up for a Friday. And guess what time it is? It's that time of year, friends. And I'm sure one person who's super excited about it, our very own Mr. Fritz, because baseball season is on. That's right, Mama Game Day. Spring training and all that good stuff, right? See, then you still think about going to games? Maybe take Jackson out to a little baseball game? That'd be That'd fun, be fun. Huh? It's not spring training anymore, though. It's, I mean, it's, it's not? It's, like it's game time. Baseball, baseball. Oh, They're on. Training They're done. They're in, into the season, and the longest damn season of any sport you could ever think of is baseball. I have it yet to go going. to see the Marlins in the new stadium. The no. last time was at the, what is now the Dolphin Stadium. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to go. I think the bright line drops you off right by there. Man, you got me sold on the bright line. I'm hey, all about the bright it. line. I've been yeah. sold on the bright line. Get, I just... the, get the premium one because you're going to also enjoy having some uh, free food and drink. I like beforehand. that. Yeah, and like Wi-Fi and all that stuff and just easy peasy sit back and just ride on the train. That sounds good to me. I could get with that. Lemon um, All right, let's go to, let's see, let's do one final dispatch as we uh, escort our way out of the building. Bye. It is a Twink. Let it, which is a username that C-Lane just realized. What just it <laughs> figured that one out. He's like, ah, oh, wow. You Wait, can say that. I didn't get it, yeah. Twink, let it. Say it fast. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you, yeah. C-Lane. That's, a, that you little, just discovered Little that. angel on my shoulder. I knew it for a while because I had to, like, say it very carefully. I just, I knew what I was getting into. Right, 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 right. Here's the dispatch. Hello? So, Sean's fear of having the people's memories when he eats a brain mm-hmm. was actually the premise for a show called I zombie oh, where yeah. the main character, she was a zombie, not the typical zombie that lumbers around and can't oh, talk. Zombie. These were zombies that could talk and walk and all that anyway. Um, but anyway, she would, whenever she would eat a brain of somebody, she would take on their personality and uh, then she was help solve crimes, like how they got All killed right. or something like that. Sounds cool. Thank you for that. I think Appreciate I one, it. One season of that. I've heard of it. I never watched it though. I never got into that. Unfortunately, 
I'm full in on the um, three bodies. Uh, no, the sprint, the Palm Springs one, the Palm Royale. Palm Royale. I'm full in on that. I'm just mad now because the episodes aren't long enough. Yeah. And when you and get a new episode, wait. yeah, it's not enough. Like I need more than that. I'm, I'm desiring more. Uh, okay, let's get the hell out of the way. Here we go. Let's do Today I Learned. The following information may make you feel smarter, but will not actually increase your IQ. So don't get cocky. Now it's time for what we call Today I Learned. It is Today I Learned for a Friday, March 29th, 2024. Here goes nothing. Today I Learned this show. Uh, Saturday Night Live. That's right. Saturday Night Live. In Saturday Night Live. He's dead, right, that guy? Yeah, Don Pardo. So oh, dead. Man, rip that guy. He was. Dead he had a Pardo. great voice. Did I learn in 2013? Ooh. I'll say that again. 2013. Saturday Night Live cast member Keenan Thompson said he refused to play any more black women on the show. He said, you want that? You hire some black women instead. Good for him. And one of the insane things, he's been doing it since 2003. That is wow. astonishing, man. I've literally SNL, been watching him my entire life. Yeah. I mean, that's since a long that. time. Then he had for, Keenan and Kel, and then he had uh, I mean, essentially SNL. Yeah, for, for that long. That's a very long run on SNL for sure. Today, learned bed bugs have no courtship rituals. In fact, what they have instead is a type of mating behavior that's called traumatic insemination, which oh. is as bad as it sounds. That's how Jackson humans. was made. Oh. <laughs> traumatic insemination, also known as high podermic insemination is the mating practice in which some species of invertebrates they the male pierces the female's abdomen Ow, and dude. injects its sperm through the wound and then the female uh has to absorb all of that not a good time just really yeah, not a good time that sorry awful today samsung can remotely disable their televisions that come cool. preloaded with the television block function, they say. When the TV connects to the internet, it checks its serial code against Samsung's servers and stops functionality if there's a match. So if it's a stolen one, you're not getting it. They're going to mm. shut that thing down immediately. Oh. And finally, today I learned this song right here. Uh, no okay. money, more problems. Yeah. That's right. Diddy having a real rough week, but so, otherwise. Seems like he's having more problems, more problems. Hey. Uh, My God, I want to. I want to go. I mean, there's time you to go. Want to dump I that? Want to go more? <laughs> Today, learned a woman filed a one trillion dollar lawsuit against P Diddy. They claim that he caused 9/11. Uh, so far, <laughs> I'm not sure Even if he did. Problems. Anything is possible. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We appreciate it. We're back next week on Monday. Same time, same place. Missed any of the show? Get the podcast over at thenewsjunkie.com. We'll see you next week, everybody. Stay humble, stay low, blow like hootie. True pimp, no